Welcome to the Am Stream. Welcome to the Life I Show this Friday evening. It's Arcade to Amstrad time. A welcome return of an old favourite. Several of you have been requesting this comeback for some time. The last time we did an episode of this it was either in it was either April or February this year. And we used to do these all the time because we're now up to like part 17 of this. And we've got loads more um, arcade games to cover. But to be honest, we have done quite a lot of the big, big arcade games already. But I've still got like a big long list of arcade conversions that goes from right here, or on my spreadsheet, all the way down of loads of them, loads of them to do. So we have many, 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 many more parts. But right, we're kind of we're kind of going down now to like the slightly more obscure ones, almost, almost. But we've got some bangers tonight. We've got Rampage. There you go, Rampage. I've got my Rampage t-shirt on tonight. So I'll save a few big ones every, for like, uh, every now and again. We've got Rampage. So we've start off with Rampage tonight. We've got Bionic Commando. Which I think most of us know. The Amsha got a bad specy port. But have we judged it too harshly? Because I always thought it was an absolute stinker. But last time we played it on the Amstream, I started to slightly enjoy it. I thought it was a terrible, terrible game. But I started to kind of like it a little bit. And I was like, hmm. But we only played it for five minutes. But, um, so maybe we will... Well, I thought we'd come back and maybe have a good go of it tonight and see what we think. And we've got Victory Road, which is the sequel to Ikari Warriors. And again, it's often overlooked. So Victory Road, I'm looking forward to checking that out tonight. But it's Ikari Warriors, but with like an aliens, shooting aliens and demons type theme. So again, as it's been overlooked, have we forgotten about it? It might actually be a really, really good game. Um, so yeah, um, I tried to look, see if there was a, um, a football game to time in with the World Cup. There is one. Um, there's one from Elite called Fighting Soccer, but we already covered it. So instead, we're doing Cyberball. We're doing Hand Egg time. To man shovel, I will need your help with the hand egg, hand egg game. Cyberball. Because um, I have no clue about hand egg, American football. So you, you, man shovel, I need your help with that one tonight. So we're doing Cyberball. And, we're, and also, finally, I found an emulator that LED Storm were working. Because it uses CRTC tricks to get smooth scrolling. And it completely glitches in uh, Win8. It doesn't work at all. But the latest version of CPC EC emulator, LED Storm, does work in. Although it's still kind of slightly glitchy. But um, we're doing LED Storm, which is known as Mad Gear as well in the arcades. So LED Storm. So how it works tonight is we will play the arcade version first. We'll get my arcade cab up for that one. That is my real arcade cab, a photo of. We'll use that as like a little filter for it. We'll play the arcade version first. And then we'll play the Amstrad version after for comparison. So tonight you get like an extra system being featured on the Amstream. You get the arcade coin off. And then we'll play the Amstrad version afterwards to see how they compare. Does the Amstrad version get a good conversion? And also, just for a bit of fun and interactivity on the Amstream to get you boys and girls involved, you will vote and tell me if you think it's a good conversion or not. The whole purpose of this will be eventually I will do a big video on the on my YouTube channel about which are the best arcade conversions on the Amstrad. 
like a top 20 video or something, or top 10. Top 10 or top 20 best arcade conversions ever of the Amstrad. So you will have a say in shaping that video. So there is a purpose to these Amstreams and stuff, just as a bit of fun. All right, so that's tonight's Amstream. And if we have time, so we get through all five games, we can have a bonus game for one of the previous 16, uh, about one of the games we featured in the previous 16 parts, if we get through it, yeah. The whole game would be a very different game indeed, yes. <coughs> yeah, we could have a look at fighting soccer again if you wanted to, if, as the bonus game, since the World Cup's on. Mooncrestor was on part 16, Retro Genius. We looked at that last time. Anyway, oh, oh, sorry, Mrs. Zyklo. I've had to plug the baby monitor. Uh, I've, heard, I've heard noises from uh, Mini Zyklo's room. Uh, uh, great. <laughs> right. Donkey Kong is or Frogger. There was an unofficial version of Frogger, yes. Donkey Kong is one of the most perfect arcade conversions. That could be number one, Magic Knight. Right, I'm going to draw a line in the sand in the, in the chat. And I'm going to go reverse order for the greetings tonight, I feel. So I know where I am. And I'm going from top to bottom of welcoming each and every one of you to the chat. All right? Uh, let's do 10 minutes on the greetings. All right? So I'm going to go from top to bottom to top. Oh! I was. Hang on. There's a there's a dono that's coming. Let me unmute the dono alerts, and I I will replay that. <laughs> Hang on. Exclamation mark! Bananas. Prepare the banana cannon. Bananas in the chat for. FC Den Haag's Nympho Bunny, who has donated one pound. <laughs> You're too sexy to be playing Amstrad. Play Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> oh, it's one ninety nine. Sorry. Oh, hang on. What's this? Elizabeth the Ams Cat has donated one pound as well. Oh my goodness. Better unplug the cat monitor too. Meow. <laughs> Bananas in the chat as well. Uh, for Elizabeth the Ams Cat. For those of you that wasn't on the uh, Twitch stream last night. Where we had marbles on stream. Um, Elizabeth the Ams Cat. Did a very smelly and disgusting diarrhea dump. In the in the um, utility room next to the streaming room on the floor, and <laughs> ruined the Twitch stream last night and stunk it stunk me out. I nearly vomited on the stream last night. Uh, she did an unfortunate turd on the floor, a, a rather messy diarrhea one, and we had to just basically almost cancel the stream midstream. I had to go and clear it up and nearly vomited. Yeah, she's doing much better than Elizabeth the Yams cat. <laughs> it was a very unfortunate thing that happened during the middle of the stream last night. Thank you for reminding me about that. That was Man Shovel. Man Shovel, thank you for the one pat. She's doing much better today. Thank you, Man Shovel. And GP, thank you for the 199. Sorry, not the one pound. Posing as FC Den Hogs Nympho Bunny. <laughs> I shall be playing Raid Channel Engines. I shall leave it up to OSG. Thank you, Pat McNoles, aka GP, for the 199 there. <laughs> right. Um. Where was I? Uh, I was uh, say hello to Yasiek. Hello, Yasiek. Welcome in, Yasiek. Um, I'm now seven minutes on the greeting, so I've got to hurry up. Hang on. Um, how you doing, Yasiek? Retro, retro genius. How you doing, uh, my friend, as well? Welcome in, welcome in. German78 mushing into the stream. How you doing, German? Welcome. Rolling Thunder, underrated conversion. That is the hill I will die on. I'm not a big fan of that one. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It, it's a bit clunky. But um, it's all right. Oh, my camera's got a bit funny. Camera, focus, camera, focus, focus. Sorry. Okay, German. Okay, you enjoy it. Let me. Don't let me ruin your enjoyment of 
rotting chunder. <laughs> Magic Knight, hello Magic Knight, welcome my friend, how are you? The legend that is Pete Walker, how you doing Pete? I've not forgotten what you did the other week still Pete, you absolute legend you. Why, how are you doing Pete? Are you on the Demestos tonight or is it the uh, Toilet Duck? <laughs> Welcome, Pete. How you doing, my friend? Ben Rear, Mr. Paul Henderson. How you doing? Hello to Ellen as well. I saw your message earlier in the chat. Strawberry Gin, right? Now, that sounds intriguing. I might try a, a drop of that one night. I'm not a big gin fan, but I might try a bit of strawberry gin. I like the strawberries. How you doing, Ben Rear? Uh, Andy hey hello Andy how you doing my friend welcome how you doing my friend health tricks Amsterdam version then RK look what you could have won <laughs> very yeah very bullseye <laughs> how you doing mate you're off work tonight right uh, health tricks dude health tricks <laughs> excuse me man shovel looking forward to you helping me out in cyberball uh, where you had to choose a different plays you tell me which ones to choose, Man Shovel. You know your stuff, right? Hopefully. You're very sports ball. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, let's see who's next in. Robin Hook, the Retro Games Wiz. How you doing, Robin? Good to see you as always, my friend. Thank you for your continued support as always, dude. Jolly. Hello, Jolly. House tricks, my friend. Welcome, sir. Welcome in. Welcome in. We've got the beautiful Mrs. Cypher there. I hope I hope Mini Cypher is not going to be a pain in the arse tonight. Yes, and thank you, babe, for your support as always. And I hope Elizabeth's not going to be naughty tonight as well. Um, Rob Rim. Good evening, Rob Rim, my Spanish translator friend. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Nice to see you tonight. I hope all is good with you. Welcome in. And hola. Um, we have also an Al K. Hello, my fellow Al. How you doing, buddy, as well? And now I left at work. Right. I hope, I hope the last uh, last hour of, sh of your shift is not too um, horrible on a Friday evening for you, my friend. Craig, Craig's bar, Mr. Harrison, how you doing, my friend? I hope things are, are being a bit better for you, mate. You've had a few busy weeks. I think I read earlier in the chat. Um, I hope things calm down in time for the Christmas festive period for you, sir. Always lovely to see you, mate. Welcome in. Ahoy, Johnny boy and Shalom. I raise a toast of Rio to you. Um... On the paint stripper tonight, Johnny Boy. Mirko! Mirko Vragovic, greetings, Mirko. How you doing, sir? Welcome. How's things with you, mate? Nice to see you, Mirko. Um, how's how how are things have been? How are things for you, mate? Um, Sunmaster! Greetings, Sunmaster. Nice to see you as well, mate. Um, hope you've been keeping well. Um, have I missed anyone? Let's see. Claude Reigns, how's the Amsfong treating you, my friend? And where, where are you stationed at the moment? At home or abroad at the moment? How you doing, Darren? Um, let's see. Hey, Hon Puds. Welcome, Hey, Hon. And how are your Puds doing, Hey, Hon? And Musa. Musa. Greetings, Musa. How you doing, sir? Welcome. Oh, I'm at the top of my chat. So, let's see. Who? Uh, where's my line in the sand in the, ch in the chat there? Right, I can catch up the rest of the people coming in below that. Vimster. Vimmy, how you doing, Vimmy? Welcome in, sir. P Daddy, Mr. Pirate Daz, arriving in dark. How you doing, mate? Welcome, welcome. How's how's your sailing on the high seas been? Hello again, GP. Thank you for the cheeky dono there. Welcome, welcome. Uh Uh, what's the matter there, Retro Genius? Uh, it's an usual nonchalant ignorance you engage with everybody in the live chat when they're usual. Uh, no need to be like that, Retro Genius. Uh, you need to uh, chill out, dude. What's, uh, what's the problem there, Retro Genius? Um, thought to be Retro Genius. Chill out, dude. Chill out. Um,. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure why he's upset. I, explain, Retro Genius. We're all very, very friendly and nice here, Retro Genius. Uh, I don't think anyone's been very. I don't think anyone's been rude to you. Um, Carlos Lacina, welcome, Carlos. Greetings, my friend. Welcome, welcome. How you doing, Hinneman? 
Hello, Hinneman. Welcome into the Am stream. Welcome, welcome. Mr. Ewoki on YouTube. I know. We don't have, like, channel points and stuff here, Jolly. YouTube is slowly catching up with the features of Twitch. Slowly but surely. Like, we can now raid on Twitch, on YouTube. We can raid other YouTube channels. Only just been... That's only just come in. Um, so they're slowly catching up with the features. When's Vespertino out? Next year, apparently, Retro on Limb. Apparently. Sir Nick of Tech. Tech Nick, welcome in. How you doing, Tech Nick? How's your week been? Troy Begley, welcome in. Troy, is this your first time in the chat? I don't know. If it is, let me know. Because we'd like to welcome new people here. Make an extra uh, special fuss of them. If it's your first time here. Welcome in, Troy. Zombie Peaks. Good to see you, Zombie Peaks. Welcome, as always. Uh, Claude Rains has never seen a cat with explosive diarrhea before. Oh, plenty of cats of it, especially especially Elizabeth the Am's cat. Um, Lord. Um, Ellen Guest, welcome, Ellen. Uh, oh, it's ben, uh, Paul Anderson Fenrir's uh, over half. Welcome, Ellen. How you doing? Uh, on the gin and shots, had a lovely piece earlier and got a long weekend off. Happy days. Welcome, Ellen. Everyone say hello to Ellen. It's Fenrir, Paul Henderson's over half there. Welcome in, Ellen. How you doing? Oh, you're on the um, Tesco body tonight, jo uh, says Johnny Boy. Nice. Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh, Andy H. Oh, you can have extra dancing sugars. For the 464. <laughs> Hope Elizabeth is feeling better tonight and doesn't go on another bottom rampage. The <laughs> bottom rampage. <laughs> Excuse me. Bananas in the chat. But and the H there. <laughs> Excuse me, self my cough there. And the H. Thank you very, very, very much for 464. <laughs> I bloody hope so too. It's Mrs. Zypho's turn, if it, it, she does. Vespertino Dino! <laughs> More bananas in the chat for Vespertino Dino. Hey, Zypho, that beef with my cousin, Fujitabu T. Just be sure to cover the kickoff games during the inevitable Amstrad soccer stream and he'll be a happy bloke. <laughs> Ciao, mi amico. Thank you. That was Man Shovel posing as Vespertino Dino. <laughs> Thank you, Man Shovel. More bananas in the chat there for Man Shovel. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Man Shovel. Ah, <laughs> uh, cheers, mate. The one pound there. That's Vespertino Dino there. I don't think we'll be doing another soccer stream. It, it, it's festive period coming up, so we'll have the Christmas Am stream. We've got a new Amstrad game, game next week, hopefully, to cover. And we need another fun stream in between. Don't worry, no more soccer streams. Don't you worry, boys and girls. Uh, and Andy H, thank you very, very, very much for a very generous 464 there. I bloody hope she doesn't. I bloody hope she doesn't. So, um... Right, <laughs> where was I? Where was I in the chat there? And we'll, we will get to the first game very shortly. Um, because there's more, quick, quickly there's some more people I need to like uh, welcome in. Um, where was I? Where was I? Um, sorry. Um, uh, Ruprim, hello again. Uh, he needs to change Mrs. Cypher's ringtone to Smelly Cat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um. I'll say hello to Technique, Troy there, Ellen, um, uh, Fenris says, oh, good thanks, the genius Slip Smith Strawberry Smash. Don't taste the strawberries at first, but you can after half a bottle. Oh, good Lord. Better relate, we'll catch you back in five minutes. Um, uh, oh no, Craig, I'm giving this uh, crappy stuttering stream tonight. Craig, I'm sorry. Maybe try and kick the router, reboot the router and see if that helps at all. Uh, Darren Connor, welcome Darren. Uh, you saw three electric guitars yesterday and four LP sales. LPs. Excellent, Darren. That's a good weekend. Treat yourself to a nice drink at the weekend, my friend, and a nice takeaway. 
Um, <laughs> GP there. <laughs> Slap at your comment there, GP. Um, Mame Hayes. Hello, Mame Hayes. Um, welcome in. Welcome in. Looking forward to your arcade knowledge on an arcade to Amstrad stream. Welcome, Mame Hayes. Um, yeah, a, a way to hear from Retro Genius. I don't know. I, I honestly have no clue what upset him there at all. Um, um, yeah, okay. If you want to talk to me, you can do Retro Genius. DM me. Um, if you um, someone upset you, let me know. I can always sort it out. But otherwise, we'll move on from that. Um, no, for Bug will be coming out before... Vespertina does. Oh, shut up about that. Bloody hell. Um, um, I, I guess people, because people weren't responding to his comments or something that upset him. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, Aquazi. Uh, bonsoir. Bonsoir. Salut. Ça va, Aquazi. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, welcome in, my friends. Welcome, welcome. Right. I think we should get to our first game, um, so we don't keep people waiting for some action too long. So, how it works tonight for those of you coming in, it's Arcade to Amstrad. We look at the Arcade Coin-Op version first, and then we look at the Amstrad version after. And the games tonight, I'll just bring up the thumbnail quickly again. Games tonight, we're looking at Rampage. Uh, what order are we doing it tonight? Um, Rampage, Bionic Commando, LED Storm. Cyberball and Victory Road. And we're going to start off the first main game tonight. We're going to start off with some Rampage. So, yeah. So, we look at the arcade version first. And then the Amstrad one after. So, I'm going to bring up the arcade cab. Uh, Mega Mega. Hello, Mega Mega. How you doing, my friend? Welcome. <laughs> Pardon me. And we're going to bring up Rampage first. We're going to look at the arcade version first. And then the Amstrad version after. See how it compares. Why is my caption not working? It is now. I'll, I'll restart. There we go. Oh. Okay. Okay, is that working? It is. It is. We just don't have any... We do have sound. We do have sound. Okay. Let me just bring down the volume there. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, great game. So this is the arcade original. We haven't done Tempest. Oh, uh, Johnny. The problem is a Tempest is the arcade original used a dial controller. A dial. So it's awkward to play. If we can work out a way of playing it. Um I thought I'd play it maybe with mouse controls potentially. I haven't looked at playing it. Uh, maybe it might work with a mouse controller. Hmm. It's probably why I've put off playing it uh, and doing it so far. Um, yeah. Carla says, great game. Yeah. Was it end, uh, end to Rampage or did it just loop? It looped. I, I can't, the kind, apparently there is kind of an end. But there's something about it. You have to play for about 128 levels or something like that. Or 178 levels. Mame Haze might know. It goes through de a day cycle. You play per each level is called a day, um, and there's something like about a uh, hundred and twenty-eight days or cities. Uh, it works out to be or something like that, and you, you get like some kind of crappy message or something like that. It's really disappointing, and then it kind of loops to day one, I think, again. What's the point of this game? Destroying buildings. I know, what an amazing concept of a game. And it kind of... 
maybe kind of changed uh, a bit of attitude, not attitudes, but like concepts of gaming in the industry. Um, a little bit. It's, it's kind of like it, it was like the first game that kind of um, one of the first games we kind of played as a bad guy in a way. I can't think of too many games before Rampage were essentially you 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 basically not playing as a a human or you like you basically you basically. Killing humans. I mean, essentially, the humans are like, trying to kill you. You, you. The humans are destroying you, trying to beat the monsters. You're playing as the monster. Oh, really, Craig? Oh, yeah. Is that one? Is that going out to the public at any point? <laughs> I, I, you, I assume you're a patron. Um, but I, I'm not. I should be really, um, but like we're um, we're like waiting for a public. Uh, the public been waiting for a freaking new release for uh, like years now. <laughs> hey, retro bus, how you doing, my friend? You're in a hotel at the moment. Have you managed to cast it to the hotel teller yet? 128 days later, Maud. Hello, sneaky Maud. All right, let's go and get a game. A game, mama go. <laughs> Uh, is this a bit loud? No, it's all right. We're good. We're good. Watch out! What? Well, I'm watching out for any guys that are chucking uh, um, dynamite at us. There's two guys there. So what we want to do is just try and uh, oh no this is not good you can't climb up the building there because I've already smashed the side. I'm just trying to watch my oh there's two two guys there. All right, they're gone. They're gone. So, what you want to try and do is keep your damage up as high as possible there. Um, and so you just try and get around. Ah. Oh, there's Tina Turner in the window there. Um, 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 yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. What is that? Okay. Oh, no. I got hit by the helicopter. Right. Okay, okay. Oh, Pirate Dance, good night, mate. Good night, dude. Take care. Oh, don't eat the dynamite, dude. Don't eat the dynamite. Oops. I'm doing badly here. Damn it! Yeah. Right, so my damage is still down at halfway, so I'm not doing great here. So I'm trying to work out a strategy of trying to keep my damage um, levels like high, and I'm still I'm doing really badly. My damage is down is my damage is down to halfway. So hmm, yeah, not doing great there. Let's just catch up the chat there quickly. <laughs> Long play it then. No, no, God no, Craig. Uh, apparently loops at 768 days. 768? That can't be right. That can't be right, Maymays. Really? 
Uh, although, to be honest, I think it repeats long before the day counter rolls. Oh. Hello, Malamut. Welcome in, Mr. Barry Roadworld. How are you doing? Rampage is uh, good, dumb fun. Yes, yes. Uh, Retric, how are you doing? I would be like, wow, well, Rampage is a simple concept. Let's turn it into a movie. Do you know what? For a stupid movie with The Rock. Uh, who's seen the Rampage movie? Uh, they actually made a movie out of this game a few years ago with the sorry in the rock. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Who's seen the movie and what did you think to it? Uh, me and Mrs. Ipo uh, watched it uh, like a, a month or two back. It wasn't that bad. It, it was. It, it's not brilliant, uh, but for like uh, just something we watch for free, you know, for free. Um. On a Saturday night where we were bored, it was it was definitely fun and watchable. Put it that way. Uh, hey, on had the C64 Rampage, played the shiz out of it back in the day. Uh, I feel that most versions, most versions were pretty decent from what I heard. Uh, are you squinting at your phone, Retro Bus? Oh, fair enough, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, at the bar, you sat in the bar watching on your phone, Retro Bus. This is one game, although I don't know if it's a good game. It's far too difficult to avoid damage. That's my that's my feeling on this one, Mame Hayes. Um, I've looked on YouTube for anyone doing like kind of like a long play speed run, world record, high school run on YouTube of Rampage earlier today to see the tactics on how you avoid damage on one credit and get like a massively high score. I can't find a single video on YouTube of anyone doing like um a run on one credit to get like a massive high score. Can anyone find a video on YouTube? I can't. I can't. Uh, Paradise, we'll catch you back later, hopefully. Take care, mate. Um, this is Mrs. Shovel's favourite game. Is it, Man Shovel? Nice. It's really good fun in two and three players, this one. It really is. You should go and get, uh, play it with her. Uh, check your Discord for the Reese plan details. Oh, okay, uh, Man Shovel. Uh, sorry, uh, Craig. Uh, Retro Virtual Machine 2.0 is, is not finished yet. Uh, I think I should change to where I show you the pro program of the public. Oh, next few weeks. Public version every six months. Them? Oh, there's, there's going to be a new version of Retro Virtual Machine in December. That's interesting. Thank you, Craig. That's really, really cool. It's about time they got a version out. Are oh, you back in the room with Mario pajamas on Retro Bus? Nice. Uh, Re Retro Cube, agreed from the stage. I've not seen the film myself, but I found myself sort of baffled about a film that was a rampage when it came out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> GP would prefer um, a Pit Fighter movie. Um, uh, Johnny thought it was an awesome movie. Imagine I hasn't seen it. Um, I, uh, Musa says, I saw Rampage. I enjoyed it. I had a fair bit to drink. I can't remember much. <laughs> That's probably the best way, maybe. Um, but uh, uh, RetroQ, welcome. Welcome in. Uh, if it's, Is this your first time on the stream? If so, uh, welcome in, RetroQ. Thank you for joining the AM stream. But yeah, it wasn't bad. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, this is Sci-Fi is here. Sorry. Uh, I they can't really hear. Oh, sorry. Minor, minor domestic there. Mrs. Zypho claims I locked Motley Mew the Am's cat into the front room when I started streaming. But I, I didn't. Mrs. Zypho shut the doors, not me. Anyway, sorry, Mrs. Zypho had a, having a minor domestic there. <laughs> never mind. She did want to come on the stream there. Oh, never mind. Oh, she's in, Mrs. Zypho's in her pyjamas. So she, she says hi to everyone, by the way. Never mind. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Simmy! Hello, Simmy! How you doing, mate? Happy birthday for last week. I didn't realise it was your birthday. I don't think we sang you happy birthday last week. But never mind. Happy birthday, mate. I won't I won't sing it now because it's over a week ago. And it would be a bit weird. 
How you doing, mate? I hope you had a good birthday weekend last week. Um, I think I'm just, uh, it was pain of in the bullets and stuff to preserve health. We shall find out shortly. We shall find out shortly. Um, anyway, let's, um, let's just crack on and see how we do on a couple of runs. But I'm, I'm down to half health already. We're only on day three. But I mean, this, this game is designed to, like, basically suck coins from you. Ah! Trying to climb up on this building. I mean, what you gotta try and do is keep eating. But like, you just don't get enough stuff to eat to try and get your, your, your health back. I'm nearly dead. Right, he's there. Go, 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 go. Oh, damn it. I took damage from that. Uh, cheers, my I'm good. How's you, fella? I'm, I'm doing all right, mate. I've got a bit of a cold. I warn everyone, I'm up, there might be some ams toots and blowing of noses and coughs and coughing and spluttering later. Otherwise, I'm good, mate. What did you get up to your birthday, Simmy? Do anything good? Um... Oh, God damn it, it's a tank! And I'm out. Wrecked. All right, I'll, 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 have a, I'll have a credit or two more. Whee! We'll have a, we'll have a credit here. We'll, show, we'll, see, we'll see a few levels anyway. Avoid him. Oh, I got fried. Definitely got to avoid those helicopters. Don't be on the building when it uh, blows up from the dynamite. Um. Right, I'm gonna eat that guy there. Get his health back. There's never enough. Um, there's never enough food to eat to get your damage back up there. Let's just catch up the chat there quickly. Um, I presume it's legit. I'd have to refresh my memory on it. It says Malamut. Uh, there's a guy on Mark that has 1 million plus scores. It's like, uh, there's no videos on YouTube, though, of any of those kind of scores, though. Hmm. Shame there hasn't, shame there hasn't anyone up uploaded it anywhere. Yeah. Um... Will the online multiplayer thing work with free players? Ooh. If anyone would like to play Rampage with me on, on the Amstrad version online, like we did with like last previous two weeks of online, put your hand up in the chat. You are more than welcome to come and play um, Rampage cooperatively multiplayer online with me on the Amstream. 
Um, you will need. You will have to play it on a PC with the CPCE what version one nine four emulator. Um, uh, via you'll have to be uh, you'll have to be on Discord chat with me though. Probably easier so we can talk about it and sort it out. But um, you're more than welcome to uh, anyone who wants to do that. You're more than welcome to come, come and try that with me. She's a bit empty without the other monsters. Yeah, Robin, you're right. It's, 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 this game is best enjoyed with two or three players. This is what this game is designed to be played with. Yeah. If Zypher was nude with one item of clothing, it would be his cap. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe cough there, GP. Zypher <laughs> so went to a mate that I haven't seen properly for ages. We were a night of beer and decks. It was ace. Nice, Siri. Bet you got the decks out. Of course you did. Trust you, Simi. Because trust you. Um, uh, the map scores are all recorded with very old versions of MAME. Some of them probably won't even run on current versions of Windows. Oh, right. So prob probably uh, they might have issues actually recording video footage then. Albion added machine screenshot uh, in this if anyone's interested. Oh, they've got plus emulation working. A ColecoVision. What? Mass system cheaper and Zenith Spectrum in retro virtual machine. Nice. At least they've got plus version. Uh, plus a G Jigs 4000 cores. Nice, uh, Craig. I'm glad they got that sorted. Those from 2008. Oh, they matter. Okay. All right. Well, let's do one more level. One more level, and then we'll get over to the Amstrad version. What? Oh! Oh, it glitched for a second there. That's unfortunate. Oh, is that, is that Tina Turner? We're beating Tina Turner. From a steamy window. Oops. Ah, poor, poor, uh, that George there got hurt. Oh, you can get the drain covers there. Damn, look at my damage and health already. Okay, this game is the... Hmm. Oh, I think we get a tank on this level. Oh, yeah, you can jump from a, a high building onto a lower building and completely smash it. way of doing it. Let me try it. Completely failed to do it there. Never mind. And we got Ray. Hey, hey, Lucas. How you doing, Mr. Lucas Rainford? Welcome, mate. Welcome, welcome. How's tricks, mate? Anthony Doyle. How you doing, sir? Uh, I will just uh, say hello to Anthony. Uh, big up the Amstream, getting me some retro tingles. Nice. Uh, welcome, Anthony. House tricks. Lucas, how's it going, mate? Welcome, welcome. Um, watch the damn meter. <laughs> uh, great with three players. This. I think, yeah, it's just not as fun with one player. It's just not as fun with one player. Let me try this again. There's a way of... Oh, didn't work there. Oh, arse. Oh. There's a way of jumping from one building and sma smashing... ...on another. I'm doing damage, but I can't seem to pull it off. Try it again. 
Ah, did it there. <laughs> Excuse me. Lucas, has this, has this ever been in the uh, two boots? Uh, rampage. And if so, what were the runs like on sort of scores? Like, I just can't get any any car in this. About dying after a few uh, cities. It's a proper coin muncher, this. Odie, how you doing, Odie? Troy, ever growing concern over Megavin? We've got some uh, police sirens there. Oh, the tank! you got to get behind the tank very quickly, otherwise it will... Um... Yeah. Right. Okay. I think that's enough of Rampage. I think that's enough of Rampage on the arcade. I think I think it's time to look at the Amstrad version. We'll move over to the Amstrad version now. Uh, Mad, thank you for joining the Discord. Uh, which which are you? Who who who, who be in the Amstrad? I've just seen you joining the Discord. Thank you for joining in. Odie, how you doing, mate? How's tricks? And that, let's have a look. At the Amstrad version of Rampage and see how it compares. Good time in there. Time to play it on a real system. Now, mate, no record of it. Ooh, I might make a good one at some point. Hang on, have I got fast disk loading on? I haven't. Hang on, let's have a look at those uh, loading screens again quickly. Right, Rampage on the Amstrad. Hang on. It's not a bad loading screen. Um, but I, uh, 86 in the arcade. What year was this? I think 88, I think, on the Amstrad. What year did this come out? Uh, 87 from Activision. So a year later this was converted. Um, yeah, not a bad loading screen. Trade on the Amstrad by, uh, is that Marcus, Marcus Rain, Rainbow? Never heard of that guy. Mark Jones on graphics, I've heard of him, and uh, Nick Jones on the music. Those two guys I have heard of. Marcus Rainbow, never heard of that guy doing coding. Interesting. All right. Software Studios Production. Two loading screens. Interesting. Don't normally get a double loading screen. Oh, this is on a... It's a rolling demo. I haven't started yet. All that mayhem destruction says Mega Me is quite frankly orgasmic. Years later, the Synosis release Walker on the Amiga was quite great destruction as well. Yeah, that's a good one, Mega Amiga. This is looking... This is looking quite good. Andrea, after she, after she won in Vegas, says GP earlier. Good grief. So if boxes are to keep things container control, it's kind of like leaving your bra on. What? What are you talking about there? Oh, hang on. You replied to oh, you replied to Jolly earlier. Your system where his boxes at night is the main equipment of leaving your bra on. Oh my god, okay, so there's the weird conversation going on there. Uh, it's a coin glove, well, of course, you have this being sucked away quickly. I know, Craig, but there must be a method, some way of 
getting around that, people people work out tricks and stuff. I've yet to work out a way on that. But, the, but apparently there is, because on Mart, someone's got over a million plus points. That, that they've worked out tricks somehow. Anyway. You'd call this game a party game, says Main Hayes. Yes. Um... I remember some Ramparts were reviewing the same issue of AA and they were struck by the coincidence. Yes, Ramparts came out very, very close to this one, Musa. Yes, I remember that, seeing that issue of AA. Trojan music just because. What do you mean by that, uh, Malamut? I don't think the demo knows how to play. I don't think so either. Right, how do I start the game? What the hell? I'm controlling both Lizzie and George, I think. Uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right. What the fart is going on? The game has started. Oh, I've just taken... Yeah, there's a weird control clash going on here. I'm going to start this up again. Right, let, what's going on with the controls here? What the fuck is going on? Right, I'll just start that up again and I'll get the manual open. <laughs> Let me just pause that a second. The far Amstrad. Ah, I know why. I know why. I've got Z as my fire button, I think. All right, let's have uh, there's left control. <laughs> Z is also a key for the second player, I think. Uh... Oh, interesting. You could, uh, uh, one on joystick, two on keyboards. Interesting. Oh, so the... Right. Got a bit of a problem because I think Winape um, maps the joystick to the cursor keys and one of the players uses cursor keys to the keyboard. Um, yeah. Game controls. Amstrad uses one on joystick, two on keyboard. Second player uses cursor keys. So that's what's happening here. And when a maps, like, the joystick to the cursor keys, I think. So, ah, that's what's going on there. Right, okay, okay. Not, it's not, like, a big issue, but, like, going to cause a bit of problem. Hey, OMG, it's OSG. Welcome, Old Style Gaming. How you doing, mate? Uh, and we've got a Smooth MJ moonwalking into the stream as well. How you doing, Smoothie? Welcome. Welcome, Malcolm. How's it going, Mel? Sorry. Mal, Mal not Malcolm. How you doing, mate? Welcome. How's tricks, OSG? Um, welcome back, Retro Lim from his beer room as well. 
Yeah, let's use cursor keys. Yeah. So this is kind of a bit broken in win eight. But home. Hey, oh yes, did anybody want to do a co-op um, online play with this? Um, let me know in the chat if you want to if you want to join in online. You can do. As long as it doesn't take too long to say uh, join in. Um Right. Right, let's play. Um, uh, Jox11, hey, oh, welcome to the stream. Love this version of Run from Age better than the NES version. Oh, God, George is, George is jumping. Why is George jumping? I've got freaking all three players in the game. Oh, because he uses copy key, which is also left control. Oh, God. Oh, never mind. How do I jump off the building? Right, I'm playing as the blue one. Essentially, I'm trying to play as the blue one. Right. Okay. I think I've got it. Good grief. Right. Uh, Re Retrocute says, Go far to say this looks more colourful than the RK version. The RK version looks a bit muddier with the colours. And hey, the music is a nice addition to this port. Yeah. That's an interesting comment. Hmm. Uh, Retrocute go, is, I go fast say that this version looked more colourful than the arcade version. Yeah. Interesting. Oh dear, uh, Lizzie's out. Let me just pause a second, let me just catch up the track properly there. Mrs. Zyphus says, beautiful colours in this game. It really is really lovely and colourful. I think my view counts. Oh god, my view counts stuck again. Let me fresh cash. Um, uh, yes, Mrs. Zypha, I think it looks really colourful and really nice. A bit blocky, it's a little bit blocky, but I think they've done a really nice job on the graphics. And I really like the music in this one. Um, Jops11, welcome to the Am stream, welcome. I've not played the NES version. Uh, and Henry! Henri, bonsoir, salut, ça va Henry, how you doing my friend, welcome as well, how you doing Henry, sorry, uh, I'm getting a bit mixed up with the chat here, I'm, I'm catching up with everything though, terrible coughing, hello terrible coughing, how you doing, um, welcome, welcome, I have had some terrible coughing actually smooth MJ, <laughs> I am a little bit hoarse as well, yes, um, but I'm, I'm nearly over it. I'm nearly over my cold and cough. Yeah. Where do they buy their monster sneakers? Oh, yeah. They got. Tr they look like they've got trainers on, don't they? Yeah. The arcade game was going for the high-resolution detail graphics look rather than colourful. Out of the time, but looks nothing special now. Yeah, the arcade version does look a bit dull and muddy in the graphics department. GP, how dare you go in senile? Oh. Those helicopters behave a little bit differently than the arcade version. Oh, tank! Tell you what, it's quite smooth and fast, actually. It is actually a bit of slow down there as, as, as the building comes down. I 
can't hit that soldier in the window, which is a bit annoying. George is going absolutely mental there. Uh, <laughs> NES version was bland. Felt that way back in the day, but I didn't play it when it was brand new. So, how can we go in the water? You turn into an app symbol. All oh, right. Chat for that tank there. I'm trying to climb. Hang on, what's Lizzie's controls? Because we could probably... Uh, um... Into... Uh, we could probably get her to like... Oh. Oh, we can't get her to do that. I thought we could maybe get her to like, shoot the build, smash the building as we smash it at the same time. Never mind. It was a ripple effect. Yes, GP, yeah. Lizzie in the green, yeah. Oh, you can punch each other. You can punch each other if you want to. Get the tank there. Oh, let's get rid of that soldier in the window. Damn, I was trying to jump off the building. The controls went a little bit laggy there. Well, I, I want to go down the build. I've got it there. It's a bit finickety trying to get uh, on the edge of the building and then get to go down the other side there. What? That's it not enough to get the building collapsing? For the C64 music. Well, I'm sure the Sid, Ren Sid Chip has a beautiful rendition of it. Great multiplayer this. If anyone wants to do a quick multiplayer online, you let me know in the chat. So far, there's no volunteers, so we'll leave it. Oh, oh, oh dear, the shuff he's shuffling off nude. Can you... Oh, you can't eat him! I was trying to eat him. Oh, and I take damage trying to eat um, the, the uh, nudie... Uh, uh, George. Never mind. This conversion is great. I didn't think I'd know it. Tell you what. Let's put a poll in the chat and let's get you vote voting. So, um, I'm going to set up a poll because eventually I will do uh, uh, like a top 20 um, best ever arcade conversions to the Amstrad video on my YouTube channel. All right. And you, you, um, you voting will help decide... Uh, which gets in the top 10 or top 20 or whatever. And your votes will count. Oh, and it will help shape that video. Right, there we go. I'll put a poll up in the chat. Now, the poll is up. So go get voting. Okay. There. It's there. And in the in and you need your chat windows, right? Hotel, uh, was it Hotel Bank Store? And uh, oh yeah, is that is that graphic corruption? Well spotted there, uh, Al K, my fella Al. Uh, Mass System has a lovely bright colours fancy presentation. Played this the most in the Amsterdam though. Multiplayer action was so fun. Is someone saying the Mass System is has the better version uh, than the Amstrad one? Probably might have it then. But yeah, Henry, this conversion is great. 
The only pro this is the only problem I have with uh, ramp rampage is it just goes on and on and on and on, and as a one-player experience, um, you don't really have an ending to the game. And I feel that, and I feel with Rampage is like, is there any point playing it as a one player game? Unless you're just trying to get a high score in it for reasons. Do you know what I mean? I like to play a game to feel like there's a ending to it. I feel like I've completed it. Oh, oh no! Oh, I got wrecked. So this is this is like that. So this would be game over, and this would be the end of my gaming session of Rampage, right? The George George is left in. What's George's keys? A Z. A Z. Oh, nice jump there, actually. But really, this that, that would be the end of my gaming session of Rampage. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's game over, and that's it. Because there isn't an ending to Rampage, it's it's like, what's the point, what's the point of me playing it? Unless I'm playing with a mate for a lap, and if I haven't got someone to play with, Why am I playing Rampage unless I just feel like being destructive and want to smash stuff because I want to get some frustration out? You know? Hmm. That's my only thing about um, Rampage. So, yeah. Fun game. It's a fun game for sure. Alright, Davis and Cypher need to do an Ewok chase. Fun off, GP. Uh, hey, Darren Connor. Uh, welcome, mate. What was the Spectrum version like? I honestly have no idea. I have no idea. Anyone play the Specky version? I say some valuable time of your lives. Don't watch the new Willow series. I didn't even know there was a new Willow series. Hang on. I'm not doing anything, and suddenly George has his auto plane. What the fuck? If you don't do anything, the computer takes over. What's going on? That's crazy! Oh no! Uh, oh, because we start. Uh, we started around. Oh! The computer just 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 kept takes. But when you start around, you have to hit the fire button to take over. Otherwise, the computer just starts it as itself. That's interesting. Okay. All right, I'll just let the computer play on then. I can just catch up the chat then. Uh, Magical thinks the master version is master system version is tops. Uh, I think I remember it having bad key clash and multiplayer. Oh really? The game is good, but it just loops. Oh yeah. Uh, did the arcade version have an ending? Apparently, Henry. Uh, I read that it. It takes about, you have to do like 178-ish levels or something, and then it has a very disappointing message about all, you've, you've done all the, um, all the cities and all the days, and then it loops. 
It's really nothing home to write home. Uh, nothing to write home about. Nothing to speak of. Uh, very disappointing, and it just loops forever, basically. Uh, Mame Hayes tells me the 700 days were before you get any kind of loop back to like the first day or first city. Um, so I might be wrong on that. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> uh, Specky Visual apparently was fine, although nothing moved nearly as smooth as this. Clearly, a completely different piece of code. Amsterdam version apparently is way better than Specky version then. Uh, Count Lolo! Welcome, Count Lolo! One of the very few games with a good C64 version and an even better CPC version. Wow, apparently the Amsterdam version might be better than the Commodore version as well. Pete Crazy! Crazy Pete, how you doing, mate? Good to see you again. Welcome in. How's tricks, mate? Um. Yeah, it looks like uh, the computer is really rubbish as uh, a plane as itself. It doesn't know what to do quite. Um... Matt Corbin, welcome in, Matt Corbin. How you doing? How you doing, mate? As well, how's how things? Yeah, the computer doesn't really know what to do with itself. OSG. See, so, can I join in? Right, I've taken over as. Simultaneously, as uh, Ralph and Lizzie. Kill the tank quickly. Can't seem to blow up the tank there, you just hit it and it zooms off the edge of the screen. Which is a bit disappointing. Oh, lots of points for hitting the bus. You actually hated this game in the arcade. You think it's overrated? Why do you hate it? When you have fun with a mate though, playing it. It's like Strictly Come Dancing with Monsters! <laughs> what a description! You posted cool pics of my mass system port on the uh, Discord. I might have to pull them up actually and have a look at that. Thank you, man, Shovel. Right, we'll move on from this shortly, I think. The time we at? 10.24. Yeah, probably up to shortly. Ah, Nudie Lizzy! Again, you can't eat them. You, you actually take damage if you try and eat the human version of one of your players. Probably fair enough. But it's just such a good version of Rampage. It's like Street from High Street. <laughs> but yeah, I think one a, a really brilliant version of Rampage. Problem here is, was it a good game in the first place? I think it was. I think it's pretty a pretty groundbreaking game, but... Oh, I'm out anyway. Let's end the poll. I mean, let's have a look at what the poll results are here then. Interesting. Clearly, 47% went one of the best coin op conversion. 35% went it's decent, and only 8% with met is okay, and 8% don't like it. Clearly, most of the chat think one of the best, uh, and and it's decent. Quite a significant amount. But not massively conclusive. But good. I'll make it. I'll, I'm gonna obviously store those results. And a lot of voting there. Thank you, boys and girls. It would have been nice if it like got to something like I don't know, sixty percent or something like that. But like, yeah, it's one of the best.
But, um, yeah. Not majorly. Oh, it would have been nice if it was a higher percentage for one of the best. I honestly think it is one of the best arcade conversions. Hmm. But there you go. Thanks, thanks for voting, boys and girls. Negan would have played this music on a loop when he had the Daryl Prisoner. Is this music getting annoying? Is it getting annoying? Alright, I'll pause it then for a minute. I thought the music's pretty good, but I, I suppose it is getting a bit repetitive. <laughs> There's going to be a, a Retro on Limb live promo. Uh, a live Christmas special, sorry, on the 25th of December. Oh, was it? Unfortunately, it is very... Uh, okay, well, check out the Retro on Limb live... Uh, is it on Retro on Limb live channel or just Retro on Limb... Retro on Limb channel. Retro on Limb. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, Retro... Uh, Real OD, it is very repetitive. Well, there you go. That was uh, Rampage. Oh, it's on your channel, Retro on Limb. But how do you rate this list? Would you, like, would you say Medley Resistance is a good arcade conversion? No. No. I wouldn't say so. Um, OSG, no, not Midnight Resistance. It's all right. It's all, all right. right. Maybe. Okay. We're going to move on to the next game tonight. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, I'm just going to grab a quick drink from the fridge, um, boys and girls. I'll be back in like 20, 30 seconds, okay? And, and um, again... You can argue you can argue about Rampage for a little bit longer. I say this is more fun than the RK version. Do you know what? I would slightly agree with you. I think I had more fun on the Amstrad version than I did on the arcade one. Although you could do more on the arcade, like jump from a building and smash on top of the other one and blow up the tank and other stuff. This one felt a little bit more faster than the arcade as well. Hey, is that Jonah shit? With another new name, Radio. Radio? How are you doing, Jonah? I recognise that. Thankfully, I recognise your thumbnail picture. How are you doing, Joe? That's Jonah, isn't it? <laughs> welcome, mate. Welcome. All right, I'll be back in like 20, 30 seconds, guys, and we're going to move on to the next game. All right, be right back. All right, guys. Thank you for sticking with us there. Sorry, I don't know if you heard the mic pick. I don't know if the mic picked up. They had a little bit of a coughing fit there. Throat's really dry. Hmm. Uh. Okay. 
Amsterdam's Rampage music is from the Capcom's Arcade Trojan. Is it really? I've heard that before mentioned a few times. Okay. Yeah. And OSC says, I mean, uh, like, because it's nothing like the arcade. The best, like, for, like, arcade version of the Amsterdam is Scramble and Donkey Kong. You reckon, so you're saying that Amsterdam Rampage is, like, nothing like the Rampage, uh, Rampage in the arcade? It's pretty, pretty good conversion. Uh, there's a few things missing, but like, I, I think I think it's a pretty good conversion. There's some missing bits and pieces here and there, but like, uh, I don't know. Uh, Radio says, "No, I'm not. I'm a Spanish follower of yours." Ready? Oh, right. Okay, you just share the same um, old thumbnail. Um, apologies, Radio. Unless you're joking. <laughs> Welcome, Radio. Sorry. Uh, apologies then. Uh, Zypho, what do you want for Christmas? A new graphics card or Chase HQ2? Says Retro Plus. That and not. Oh, you're about no Midnight Resistance. Uh, well, graphically, they're going for a completely difficult, different graphical look. Yeah. Uh, oh. Thankfully, I'm not featuring Midnight's Resistance. So I'm, I'm not going to get in a whole different, a whole discussion about that one. Anyway, right, let's come off that. Right, next game tonight. Oh my goodness! All right, let's get the arcade cab up. Remember, we're doing the arcade version first, and then the uh, Amstrad one. It's Bionic Commando. Bionic Commando. Right, Bionic Commando. Come on, capture. Chop, chop. I'll, I'll restart that. Bionic Commando, arcade version first. I never really rated the arcade version that much. I don't know about you boys and girls. I don't know. Best Patino for Christmas. That would be nice. They are plan apparently planning a surprise for us at Christmas, but you never know. We'll see. We'll see, eh? Um, Bridget 2, a bridge too far. Uh, Re RetroQ wants a copy of Outrun on the ZX Spectrum just to suffer through it. <laughs> uh, what, what does everyone else want for Christmas? What you what would you like? What would people like for Christmas? My Bionic Commander doesn't work. The tape rattles. Oh, dear. I, I, you might not be missing out on much. Right. Bionic Commando, eh? Yes. Get my arcade. Um, I like the concept of Bionic Commando with his like arm that extends out like that. It sh I think it should be a much better game than what it actually turns out to be. I think there's a, quite a few design flaws in this game. Uh, with its level layout and stuff like that. I think this game should be a lot better than what it is. Oh, that sounds like it, the volume level is a bit too down. Um, let's go. Right. Actually, it's kind of a run and gun game. The bionic arm that can stretch out and swing and all that kind of stuff. No! Oh my god, damn it! And you have to get, try and get to the base at the top here. Uh, Nerds one is basically a sequel. I've heard the NES version is the best version to get. 
Man Shovel swears blind by it, right? Man Shovel? end of the level. There you go. Right. There you go. Best special of Blimey Commando is the NES, but it's way different to the arcade, but in a good way to the OSG. Blimey Commando is a weird one on the C64. There were two versions. One by Capcom was the US, uh, and one of the worst games ever. Let me just pause it there. Let's catch up the chat. That's the, that's the first level, anyway. Uh, and one of the worst games ever. And then the version by Go, which is a EU version, and Class. Hmm. Thanks to the knowledge there on the C64 version. Bear that in mind when we get to the Amstrad version. And we were about Pit Fighter there. <laughs> We've had that featured before, unfortunately. Uh, bear in mind, we do if we get through all the games tonight, we, we might have time for a bonus game at the end. You might want to choose. You could choose Pit Fighter later on, potentially, if you wanted to. My view count's got... Again. Um, Maud hasn't played any version of this, to be honest, he says. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Ifo wants a massive canvas paint of photo. Oh my god, there's no Mrs. Ifo, no. Um, Bonnie Commando feels like a lot more like a European Amiga game than an RK game, says Mame Hayes. Hmm. Metronome wants a girlfriend beer and cage for the mother-in-law for Christmas. Hmm. <laughs> Darren Carl wants a 1959 Fenty Telecaster in a blonde finish for Christmas. Uh, Jeremy would like a Maitland Ward for Christmas. What's a Maitland Ward? I don't know what one of them is, Jeremy. Um. Uh. I want a uh, Manchel wants a cheap hardtail Jackson Kelly. I would remove the pickups and tone pot and really get the volume pot and stuff. A Dragonfire Crusader in a sweet metal looking <laughs> Nice one, man, shovel. Um, music is quite good. Yes. Yeah, the music is good. Class in this. First level on this is pretty good. But I think after this level, it starts going a bit downhill. Maitland Ward is a ginger porn star. Oh, right. I see, German. You're a connoisseur, are you? <laughs> okay, let's crack on. Ah! Weapon there. Ah, come here. No! Oh, we got it. We got it. No! Well, we'll skip it. We missed out on the weapon there. Oh! Oh, job. And we are dead. How will my view account keep going? Top, top right corner. Come on. There we go. Oh no! No, 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 no! I pressed the wrong button. Oh, uh, ah! What? How do I get rid of that? What, what, oh no! Uh, how do I get rid of the pallet thing? Uh, what, what function key is that? I'll try to put a credit in. Um, Mame Hayes? Uh, oh, oh Malama, what key is this? F is that F4? Damn it! Ah! And I didn't get the credit in in time. FF Battalion, a dog of the Federation. We'll teach them to mess around with us. Uh, sorry, gen uh, sorry about that. Um, gen uh, oh, bugger, hang on. 
Uh, sorry about that. Gen Generalissimo Hill. Th thank you. Sorry. Fa got me a bad moment there. Uh, Generalissimo Kill. Thank you for the one pound. Uh, FF Battalion. A dog of the Federation. We'll teach them to mess around with us. Thank you. Uh, Mad Shovel. Thank you. That was Mad Shovel. Thank you for the one pound there. I have no idea what that is all about. At, at all what that is about who general generalissimo kills is what the ff battalion is i've absolutely no clue what that is about but thank you man shuffle <laughs> every now and again he drops a dono i have absolutely zero clue what it's about like shh. but thank you man shuffle you're gonna have to explain that one thank you man shuffle for the one pound Bananas in the chat. Thank you, Mad Shuffle. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I got wrecked there. Oh, it's a quote from the vastly superior um, NES game. Oh, right. Oh, can we shoot those things in the floor? No, we can't. Right. Thank you, Mad Shuffle. Thank you. Oh, mind the beehive. Thank you, man, I appreciate it. Away from this, uh, all this game here, I'm seriously going to uh, put a bet on England versus Japan for the World Cup tomorrow. Final England to win. You reckon it's going to be England versus Japan in the final? Really? Bloody hell. Oh, I've got a medal there. Nice. Just some points. Just points. I'll take it. Oh, got through the first level. That was that was pretty quick. All right. This is the only credit we'll play, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Soundtrack doesn't really match the game, does it? A bit too jolly, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Is it a bit too jolly? I think I about the right about the final with so many teams out. Oh, you're right. Who's the best teams left currently, you reckon, boys and girls, in, in the World Cup? I'm a bit... I'm a bit lost as, uh, as to who's left. Italy's not there. Germany's not there. Of course. Say, what did what that miss? Ah, oh! electrical spa. What the? He's going to drop down. Dudes, what the fuck are these guys? Sod off! Oh my god, go away! I don't like you. on the stage. Bloody hell. Cortazzo. What did I do now? Is it a jolly what? 
I don't. I, I did say anything to you, Jolly. Music is giving you Mega Man vibes. Uh, oh my God! What are these little? We've got gremlins. All right, who's been feeding Mogwais after midnight? Sod right off. One credit, one more credit here, just to. S oh, for goodness' sakes! All right, well. What? That, 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 those guys are spawning in the in the in like the. Feeling there, okay, interesting. Go, little dude. that to open the lift. Okay. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, you have to go through its feet? Oh. How'd you get, how'd you get through this? Like that, okay. Uh, some mentioned Sabrina and yeah, the Sabrina and Transvision Vance records facing the account. My uh, wife has noticed yet. Oh, Wendy James. Oh, can't be a bit of Wendy James either. Oops. Oh, we can cheese through this if you're doing that. Okay. Let's swing through this. Like that. Go, little dude. No! And that's me then. Alright. I think that will do there for Bionic Commando in the arcade. Hmm. Yeah. All right, we got quite far on that. Again, like, uh, I feel like it, need, it needs more, like, kind of levels, like level one, but more spacious. You can really use the bionic more arm more to be swinging around and having more fun with that bionic arm. Um. I don't think it's really utilised it much as it like it should have done. Um, you 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 kind of like the levels you you kind of like stuck in more confined spaces by, um, that third level. You want to be you want to have more fun swinging around shooting stuff, but like yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Hey, Darren Carl, how you doing, mate? Welcome, welcome, mate. How's tricks? 
uh, you swing at a 45 degree angle. I think I got it there in the end, man, Shovel. I think that was like a late uh, uh, a tip for earlier on in the game, wasn't it? I got there. I, th I think I got it at the end. Right, okay, let's go over to the Amstrad version. Crikey. And see how badly or okay it plays. Now, get it up. Let's get it up. Bionic Commando, the Amstrad version. Now, we played this a few weeks back, I think. Or a month or two back. My God, that loading screen. That loading screen is horrendous. Let's just dissect this. What is up with this face? Why have they, why have they only done it in three colours? We've got red, green and blue. Well, four colours if you count the black background. Good biotic Ewok is sharp GP. <laughs> Yeah, that is a that is a really bad loading screen, but that looks awful. Wow, that's not a good sign so far, is it? Blimey. Okay. Oof, and not a great title screen either. Chronic Commando. So, have you done the best worst loading screens? I haven't, Darren. No, never done that. Um, oh God, yeah, the art is all very subjective, though, isn't it? <laughs> Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Little colorblind artist there. <laughs> Just go. We're doing a uh, busy, doing a great job on the C sixty four version. Joystick selected. Right. Okay. Wow. I could have copied the Capcom art. Hmm. Uh, I think they did copy the Capcom art. Hence why it's Bionic Commandos with the S. As that was the early prototype name. Was it? Oh, uh, I've seen it referenced as command Commandos in places, Mame Haze. Yeah, I often wondered about that. James from Transvision Vamp. Yeah, one of my earliest crushes, German 78. Right. So, yeah, we played this a few... Uh, oh, hang on. Let's pause it there. We played this a few months back. Uh, I've always thought this was one of the worst ever arcade conversions on the Amstrad and one of a terrible, terrible game. I started to play it and I started to kind of started to, like, enjoy it a bit. We all know this. Most of us know this as a terrible, terrible specky port and a lazy one. But was it really that bad? Was it really that bad? We're going to give you a fair shake tonight and a fair play. And let's find out. Anyway. Uh, probably by Mike Follin. Tim Follin's brother. Sound by Tim Follin. Interesting. Graphics by Andrew Frelfol. I've not heard much uh, much of him before. What else is uh, in... Well, I'm going to find out what else he's done, actually. The Amstrad. This is Andrew Frelfall's only graphics work on the Amstrad. Uh, by the way. At least on the, accredited on the CPC Power website. So, interesting. Alright, I'm going to pause my music. Is there any music in game? I don't think there is. And, oh dear. Ready? Go! Oh! 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 Wow! 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 Well, I don't think Tim Follin's going to be particularly proud of his sound work here. Well, is that a, is that how high this this goes? You can't do the grappling hook to the right, by the way. Only up and diagonally right. Oh, 
Oh, you got grenade ro lobbers. Oh, that's bees chasing me. Oh, God. What the? I think that's meant to be the rocks uh, above me to the left there. Jesus, this is... Um, horrible scroll in there. Well, that's those flying things. Let's just go a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. All right, we're not far from the end of this level. Actually, you know what? It's it, uh, apart from the terrible graphics. There's no music. Which is a crime when you got Tim Follin involved in your game. Uh, oh, you can do, do the grapple right, but you have to be dot. Oh. Looks like a Tiger LCD game. I'm just going to pause there a second. We're near the end of the first level. Violet Chameleon. Um, actually, the sound effects are okay. Your copy of the... Oh, sorry. Your copy of the CPC says Commandos on the tape retro bust. Hmm. Oh, okay. This is a sequel to Commando. Is it meant to be a fi officially a sequel to Commando? Is that true, Mame Haze? Um, wow. Maybe that Lodi 3 looks better on a green screen monitor. It might do. Interestingly... Uh, there's two versions of Bionic Commando on the Amstrad. One tailored to green screen monitors and one tailored to colour monitors, uh, by the way. Um, there was actually two versions on the disc. Um, Tim Follin does great music for crap games. Unfortunately, Barry Robold, it, it seems to be the case. It does really seem to be the case. GP says it's like a Tiger LCD game. Once you start actually playing it, it's it's it kind of sort of plays okay. You can look past the crap graphics. I mean, the animation on that sprite. Look at his legs go. I mean, I mean. What? Why did I... Why did I die there? Oh, hang on, hang on. Anthony Doyle! Anthony! Wow, thank you... Whoa! Thank you for the 449! Oh, by the way, sorry, text-to-speech doesn't work on the Super Chat, only on the uh, stream, Streamlabs link. But thank you for the 449. He asks, did Mario ever make it to the Amstrad? Conversion fan made. Um, Mario Bros. did, which is like that, that single-screen platformer uh, from, you know, the really early one from Nintendo. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, Mario Bros. Second. Anthony, thank you very, very much. First of all, bananas in the chat. Let the bananas rain down for Anthony Doyle. That's very kind of you, Anthony. Thank you very, 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 very much for that. Um, uh, Mario Bros. did. Mario Bros. did officially. Is this. From Ocean Software. It's very rare and hard to get hold of. Uh, this is like the Spanish version. But yeah, Spain got a Hit, hit Squad re-release of this. Yikes. Uh, so Spain got Mario Bros. Sorry, uh, we uh, we sorry we got Mario Bros. But it's the it's this. 
I think you're on about Super Mario, aren't you, though? It's this. It's the arcade game. It's a single screen where you, like, jump and turtle. Right, that one. Super Mario Bros? Sadly not. There's some, there was some attempts years ago to do a Super Mario Bros on the Amstrad. They, they, they didn't get very past and further than, like, a few work concepts, proof of concepts. Yeah. Uh, we may add, do this on an arcade to Amstrad stream at some point. Um, not tonight, but uh, maybe in the next one, potentially. I always found this a boring game in the arcade and an even more boring game on the Amstrad, personally. Not, like, super exciting, this one, but yeah. Oh, my God, that looks ugly, says Jolly. But there you go. We will do this on an arcade to Amstrad stream, but... Um, I always found this a not particularly exciting game anyway in the arcade. It's less exciting on the Amstrad. But, um, oh, the, the Dancing Lord Sugars have got in sync of each other there. Thank you, though, uh, thank you, mate. One day, someone might do a proper conversion of it. By the way, why did I die here at the end of the level? The timer hadn't got to zero. Did something kill me off screen? Did I get shot? I know. I'm... What killed me there? Did anyone see what killed me? The graphics are similar to Samsung 1 and 2, yet somehow they look better than this crap, says Darren. Um. Uh, OSG says, wow, this looks exactly like the arcade, but Amstrad kids are wondering where to put their 10 pences. You know, I mean, this, this is terrible. I mean, it's essentially a specky poor OSG. And, oh, at worst, uh, the game killed you. You did, uh, so you died because this port sucks and developers should be ashamed of themselves. I'll give it one more go. I want to see what level two looks like. Ready? Go! Ah! I like I like how there's a sign here that says danger army. <laughs> if we could just look past graphics and Oh Uh, if we could look past graphics. Oh, we've got a fast arm. Right. Oh, you turd. Right. Can I... Right, what was I trying to finish saying? Arse biscuits. Uh, if we can look past the graphics, right, and look past the fact there's no music, the sound effects are a bit spot. Actually, the sound effects are all right. Ah! Um, what's the gameplay like? Well, to be fair to it, um, it had, it seemingly got most of the stuff from the arcade in it. And it, it kind of plays okay, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of the arcade original in the first place. I mean, the scroll isn't great, but it it it. it the scrolling is passable. It, I, it, it, ah, uh, oh, you could live with the scrolling. It, it's just about livable, right? 
Do you reckon? If someone could redo the graphics on this, right? The controls are responsive. Um. Oh, now we've got a faster arm swing thing. Right, okay. Controls are responsive. Um, oh, we've got a weapon there I can't get to. Never mind. Um, it, uh, it's, it's sort of... It plays kind of smooth. I don't think it's that bad. If I'm honest. It just looks terrible. And there's no music and stuff. Oh, shh. Okay. If someone did like a makeover job on it, graphically, and added music in, I don't think we'd be like, talking so bad about it. I don't know. The trouble is, Bionic Commando, the game itself in the arcade, wasn't that great. But for a conversion job, Uh-oh. Kind of stuck here. Oh, you turd! The conversion job is not too bad. It's just the graphics and animation are just absolutely appalling. Can we overlook the graphics and rate it on its gameplay and how it performs? I don't know. End of stage one. Thank Christ for that. Yeah, Mega Mega says the Arkham is not that memorable to begin with. Yeah. Do you want to play the Specky version? That's a good question. Ah, uh, duped him. What does this section play like with the cannons? Let's see. Got my first weapon upgrade. How do these... God, that's oh, it's garish as hell, isn't it? Oh! thought maybe I might be able to skip through that whole level there. Right, let's do a little poll uh, in the chat then. Hey, Hobby Lodge, how you doing, mate? Welcome in, sir. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. That's not his arm when you were crouched there. <laughs> Martin Russell, hello, Martin. Welcome into the AM stream. Welcome, welcome. Is this your first time in here? So, welcome in. I hope you have a nice time here. Main page says, uh, I said the CP version isn't that slow, but I've got how just how fast the specy version this is. Specky version specy version feels like someone put in it in put it in turbo mode compared to the arcade. So the specy version apparently is just like too that too fast. Honestly guys, I don't think this is too bad. It's just the graphics is a the graphics are appalling 
there's no excuse these graphics on a full price conversion of like a quite a uh, high profile um arcade conversion job um but hey i'm gonna put a poll in the chat uh you got your boys and girls can go and vote on it all right poll is coming up in the chat now go and vote and let me know what you think okay and if you've been enjoying the stream tonight, don't forget to give me a like and a thumbs up on the stream. Uh, 40 of you have done so, so far. Thank you. If you enjoyed the stream, um, if you could give us a like and a thumbs up, I very, very much appreciate it because it um, those interactions does mean like YouTube algorithms start pushing the stream to like new people who haven't discovered the stream yet. And it helps get the stream um, get more noticed by new people and suggested to new people so thank you boys and girls um uh hobby lodge says this is um well interesting yeah this is absolutely appalling graphics but i think for source material i think they've done an okay job converting it because it it plays okay the controls are responsive it's smooth scrolling uh, not great but Hmm. It's all right, but the uh, freaking the graphics are terrible. Um. Hey, Andy H. Good night, Andy. Take care, mate. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you soon, dude. Thanks for your support, as always, mate. As well. Oh, I like a bit of ninja golf, man. The shovel. Hey, uh, Kev Howell, hey, I'm not saying hello to you yet. How you doing, Kev? I'll be disappointed in this game. I think I would be too. I think I would be too. Sounds like the CC4 got a better port. I think so, by the sounds of it, uh, uh, from OSG. Uh, and the NES got the best version. Uh, Same with the Amstrad and MSX servers always get lowball by lazy specky ports. Yep. Uh, I'll give it another quick go, just while the chat's voting, and then we're going to move on to the next game. We'll see if we can just blast to, like, level 2, or level 3. Ass. Oh, 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 can we get that up? Said that wasn't his. Oh, I've done it again. Bugger. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Andrew Frelfall. Andrew. Please burn this after playing. Andrew does not like this. I, uh, exclamation mark. Bananas in the chat. Bananas for Andrew there. Andrew says, please burn this after playing. He is not a fan. Fair enough. I don't think this is bad as we first thought. But it's, it's not a winner, is it? Let's have a look at the poll. 28 votes. I'll leave the poll up for a little bit longer. Andrew, thank you for the one pound, mate. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Andrew is not a fan. <laughs> um, please burn this after playing. I don't know. I, I, we, I, I think there are far. I think there are far worse games. I think there are far. Oh, I could barely see that dickhead hidden in the like the dark green background there. Yeah, that yeah, that wasn't fair. Trying to make the screen scroll there. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, 
okay, we're okay, we're good. What? Uh, oh, it's camouflage, says Jolly. Yeah, it was camouflage. That, that was completely unfair there. How did I not die there? Oh, what? I got, I got, I got glitched into like the rock face there. Right, I'm done with that game. I'm done with that one. Screw that. That could go in the bin. Definitely. All right. Any more votes in the poll? 31 votes there. Someone says this is one of the best conversions. What? Okay, that's pushing it too far. I'm amending the poll. Clearly. Clearly. Right, okay. Someone's taking a pee there. Right, okay. 70% just like basically like say I do not like it. Fair enough. 12% uh, thought it's decent. 12% went meh. It's okay. And 3% of you said it was one of the best conversions. What? I, I mean, I'm slightly defending this one, but like, come off it. Come on. Come on. Uh, as I found, uh, says Craig, I just loaded up the specy version in RVM. It's more colourful, faster, and it has a tuning game. Oh, Craig, that's just like, rub, that, that, that's just rub salt in the wounds. That is insulted that we got this. And, but, um,. I don't think Bionic Commando is one of the worst conversions of all times or one of the worst ever Amstrad games ever. It's playable, it's okay, uh, but like, still no excuse for that. A 3% is GP, you reckon, though, Jay? <laughs> it's what OSG says it's one of the best conversions that Mike Follin did on the Amstrad of a game called Bionic Commando. <laughs> Four out of ten says Batman. Still loved it as a kid though. If anybody wants to put scores out of ten in the chat, you can you can do that. Uh RetroQ says, no, the scroll is something that should have been at least implemented in this version. Just pot look if you don't land on a platform that kills you. Yeah, you shouldn't have to like use your bionic arm to make the screen scroll enough to be able to see what you're actually gonna wanna hit either. Yeah. Andrew Frail is the graphics design. Oh, sorry! That was um, that was uh, oh, that was a joke name on that on that on that on that donation. I forgot about that. Oh, was that you, Man Shovel? Man Shovel, you were that you were responsible for that last dono. Thank you, Man Shovel. Thank you very very much. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, Man shovel for the last uh, the previous donation there. Thank you, man shovel. Sorry, that went over my head as well there. Jolly gives it one out of ten. OJ, how you doing, OJBs? Thank you for the four. Uh, that was four out of ten from OJBs. Uh, Henri gives it three out of ten. Uh, you hated that conversion, and LK gives it three out of ten as well. Um, Darren says, if I bought this a kid, I would have given up the answer to took up cross dressing instead. Fair enough. Um, all right. Let's move on then. Right, next game tonight is... Okay. Oh, we need to get a different capture. On. All right. LED Storm, which is also known as Mad Gear in Japan. Right. And this one uh, will be using a different emulator for as well. Uh one that's very hard to capture um, uh, for the Amstrad. We'll come on to that in a second. We shall look at the arcade version first. Right. Oh, really, OJ? 
Really? Thank you. I should give you lots of love and thanks when that arrives and stuff. D really, GP? Free. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen, unfortunately. Come on, capture. Right, I'll restart that. So this is LED Storm in the arcade. Also known as Mad Gear. Uh, Mei Mei says, Zypher, the version of LED Storm that was called Mad Gear is not the one that was ported to the home system. The version of LED Storm that was called Mad Gear is not the one that was ported to the home system. What do, you, what do you mean by that? The version that was ported is LED Storm Rally 2011. So am I playing the wrong... You already called it... You, you always called it Lead Storm as a kid. Yeah, this is the wrong game. Okay. Let's Storm Rally 2011. Okay. We'll show footage of this, Mame Hayes. Apparently, this is not the version that has got converted. Okay. You know, it sort of kind of looks like it. You play the car, oh, and you you've got one fire button for the car to jump, Energy. and you get fuel. Energy. And you got to race to the. Uh, uh, you got to jump over gaps in the road, pick up fuel, get your car fuel level topped up. You have no weapons. You gotta get to the end of the goal here. You jump on other cars to smash them. And you get a little map here. Yeah, this looks like a jazzed up version. Notice the map there. So this looks like a jazzed up version, says Batman. It's like a race, you got a fuel gauge, you just gotta get to the goal before your fuel runs out. So apparently, this is not the version that the Amstrad and Home Systems got. Energy. And we want to be playing a different version of the game. Okay, so I'll have a look for this one. Um, so I want to be playing Lead Storm Rally uh, 2011. Okay. So hopefully, it's this one. Hey, uh, Retrobate, well, welcome, mate. Uh, we're looking at the arcade version first, and then we look at the Amstrad version after. This is arcade to Amstrad on the Amstream. Is this the right? Is this the right one now, mate? Hey, Lewis Watto. Hello, Lewis. How you doing, mate? As well. Asterix, mate. Is the right one now, Mame Hayes? Better bait down a bottle of wine earlier. This is the right version, apparently. Okay. So this is what the home computer conversions, like the amateur version, is based Hello on. There. I'm right. Storm navigating computer type K1 mounted on your Storm 11 vehicle. <laughs> you can call me Matt. Let's go. You said you can call me Matt. It's 
mu this looks more like the Amstrad version, apparently. Ah, uh, Mr. Fuel pick up there. Kind of a bit of a racing game then, I guess. Oh, we are running out of energy. Yeah, I know. Oh, we made it just, just made it. Okay. <laughs> Energy. Ah, this looks like the second second level, right? Okay. Get off. Oh, you buggers. Energy. Energy. Oh, they jump on your car and you have to shake them off by like sort of shaking left and right. Energy. All right, it's nice and colourful. This it's fast, um, just sort of another racing driving game, really. Uh, it's got a futuristic feel to it. Otherwise, it's a bit generic. Uh, music's okay, a bit too memorable. Um, your car can jump and do stuff. Otherwise, you haven't really got any other kind of like seemingly any other sort of special power ups. Um, it's got a nice futuristic feel to it. Other than that, it's a bit average. Nothing too special about this one. Otherwise, yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of a bit forgotten about though these uh, these days. This one. Otherwise, yeah. Let's uh, let's see what the chat's saying. Sorry, yeah. Um. I got a bit engrossed in that one there. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, Lewis has been out to the pub tonight. How many pints have you had so far, Lewis? How many sheets of the wind? <laughs> um, Alke is going to ruin an Amiga 1200 motherboard. Don't you dare, Alke. You be careful. You be careful. Um, so, Mamo says, basically, this came earlier and the ports were based on this one. Then Capcom later released the Mad Gear LED Storm. And they just dropped the LED Storm uh, World Rally name or something like that. Right. Doesn't look much like the Amsterdam version, really, though, does it? No, no. Um, but this was a prediction of a 2011 future. Pretty accurate. <laughs> Futuristic bin man <laughs> grabbing onto the car. <laughs> you can also transform into a bike in this version, although I don't know if the CPC version kept that. Button 2. I could transform into a bike? I'll try that on this race here before we move to the Amstrad version. Okay.
Uh, it's more obvious that the home ports are based on this because the Becky one still has rally 2011 sort of latest spot. Okay. Yeah, press button 2 and you can transform into a bike with slightly different handling. Oh, okay. We'll try it on this race. Okay. Oh! Okay, we're going to play as the bike. Racing. And we're out. There you go. That is LED Storm uh, or LED Storm Rally 2011 in the arcade. Hmm. The jump of the bike looks like a penguin. I don't know whether. Should we continue on or should we go to the Amstrad version? Yeah. I think we'll go over to the Amstrad version. All right, yeah. Yeah. Let's do the Amstrad version. Um, we're gonna have to fire up. Win8 doesn't emulate this very well, but the latest ver later versions of CPC EC emulator do. Uh, we'll get open. Um, it there. Right, where is it? The storm original. Okay. Uh, it looks like a Sinclair C5, a colourful one though. <laughs> oh, Tim Follin sound, but not a Mike following. Mike Follin uh, program game. Dean Belfield. But Tim Follin, no music on the title screen. What's he doing with Ape, uh, Zypho? Go nuts. The scrolling just completely breaks in Win Ape. <laughs> As a Mac user, I have no Win Ape. Oh. I see, I see. Yeah, it just, it's just glitch, 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 glitch. It's still a bit glitchy uh, in this uh, emulator at the bottom. I don't know if that happens on a real Amstrad. Um, I could test it in Retro Virtual Machine, but I've only got the older version, uh, the older public version of Retro Virtual Machine. This one does the beautiful AY theme from the Specky 128K version. Really? I don't know why they've not added it in here then. It's just, that would be just pure laziness. Yeah. Uh, but I do know of a decent CPC emulator on Linux. Uh, oh, Parry Retro Virtual Machine is on Linux as well. Oh, there you go. That answers that. Uh, one second. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Hello, Retrotronics. Uh, I thought this was a uh, 5 out of 10 game as I only use real hardware. I didn't notice it was pain to emulate. Uh, Works fine on real hardware. If anyone bothered to check my channel with real hardware, any videos of CPC. Okay. Um, select joystick controls. 
zero to start the game. Right, hello there. I'm your storm navigating a navigator type E mounted on your storm two vehicle. You can call me Mac. Uh, three, two, one. Oh, bloody hell! Timing! <laughs> Actually, just before the race starts, anyway. Gimme White! Thank you very, very much for the £1.49! Through the super chat there. Thank you, Skimmy White. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. That's a play on Jimmy White there, the snooker legend. Thank you, Skimmy. Look, we see some bananas in the chat there. The Skimmy White. <laughs> Let the bananas rain down for Skimmy White there. Thank you very, 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 very much, Skimmy White there. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you very, very much. It's very kind of you there. Thank you, Skimmy. And uh, my viewer count has glitched in the top right corner there. Why has that happened? Refresh. <laughs> Skimmy, thank you again, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, Skimmy. <laughs> Absolute snooker legends there. Thank you, Skimmy. <laughs> right, let's go with some um right LED storm on the Amstrad. Right, go. And it is a bit glitchy at the bottom there, but when you get a bit of speed on the go, nice and smooth. But low speed, it, it's a bit rough at the bottom of the screen. Now what's it what the, what it, what the what, yeah, what the program is doing is using some um uh, video chip tricks, CRTC register tricks. To get smooth scrolling on the Amstrad. But the sprite glitches a little still. Oh no, I missed the pickup there by jumping over it. Idiot. It's still a bit jittery anyway. And we want that E. And we can't get it. I'm going to run out of fuel. You have no idea what your fuel gauge is on this. You can't display it on the screen. Rather annoyingly. It's trying to do this like smooth, fast scrolling. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it still ends up looking a bit rough and raggedy at certain speeds. And a little bit glitchy. Can't get that. Oh man. It's all raw. It seems to be all rather a bit basic, really. Sprites. Uh, the enemy sprites sort of glitch around the screen a little bit. Again, it, your, your car sprites are a little bit flickery. Um. For those of you that played this on real hardware, was it was this as, as glitchy looking as it is on 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 the screen here now? If so, I could try it in retro virtual machine see if it's a little bit better, or I could try a different CRTC chip setting in the uh, emulator. Yeah, got no ch no music. Sound effects are rather sparse and barren. You can jump on the cars to, play, uh, to squish them. No idea what my score is. No idea what no idea what my energy level is. There isn't a heads up display. Oh, we're actually not far from the end of the level because now we got these trucks. Get past. A bit glitchy. Down and jump to transform in this version. Oh, oh yeah! Look, I can transform into the bike. Thank you, Mame Hayes. Oh, 
we'll get up to speed then. Let me just catch up the chat there. I think Darren Connors uh, off the bed. Um, see, where, where's Darren Connor? Hey, good night, Darren. Take care, Darren. Good night, mate. Uh, have a good night's sleep and have a great weekend, Darren. Take care, mate. Exactly, Mega Mega. How can you know how much petrol you have left? You can't. Your guess worked. Um, and not much more than a souped up bumper jump bit pants for 10 quid, even on the C64. Um, yeah. Uh, those map bits of the speaker grid are taking up the later LED Storm RK release, but that's another reason you know these ports are based on Rally 2011, says Mame Hayes. Is the CPT version ends up missing the status bar at the side, though, as we know a to compensate for the scrolling. I mean, what they could have done, uh, Mame Hayes, is put like uh, a status bar at the bottom to overlay the glitchiness, the mask over it, the glitchy, the scrolling glitching at the bottom there, um, to like mask over it. Um, but they didn't. Uh, I love this one seems to the same glitches appeared if I remember the zombie peaks say so, the, the the glitching at the bottom of the screen as it scrolls that happens on real hardware Check my review scrolling silky smooth on the real hardware, but does that glitching appear at the bottom on real hardware? RVM, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit glitch when you jump off the track or are spawning, but it looks better uh, than this. I had this back in the day, says May Maze, and it was glitchy on real hardware. Really? I'm sorry to say, but you've run out of energy. Who knows how much energy a bloody has? <laughs> okay, this game mixed with another port, Last Jewel, better in my opinion. Yes, I know. I, some, I, I often get them mixed up. Last Jewel and LED Storm. They're both released around about the same time. They're both like vertically scrolling um, racing games. Um, play fairly similarly. I think they were both released at the same time. I think they are both Capcom games, weren't they? Uh, so we've got differing uh, differing opinions here. Some people say they were glitchy on real hardware. Some say they weren't. Some say they're bet it, it looks better in retro version machine. And some say I don't know. Uh, Richard says no idea. Zypho it was a tool screen. So when I had it, the camera set up for full game review recordings. Mate, shot the bottom of the video due to the framing. That could have happened. Should we have a look at it in Retro Virtual Machine? But I've got the older version of Retro Virtual Machine. So, they might have improved re um, the emulation since. I don't know. Um, I'll try in Retro Virtual Machine. Hopefully, my capture will work on it. Oh, hang on. I need to... Uh... There we go. That was that was sorted. Right. Okay. Let's insert a disc. All right. The capture's working. That's cool. That's cool. Um, bear with me one second. Okay. Oh, Craig's going to test it out on his 664. Thank you, Craig. No worries, Retrotronics. It's not. It's really worth testing. Don't worry about it. Craig's going to test it anyway. I'm going to look to an upgraded uh, 128k version with improvements. This could be decent. It could be decent. It could be. It could be. Right, let's see what RVM does. Although, I think my capture is slightly off the screen here. Let me sort that. Uh...
Okay. Squashed it a little bit, but it, it will do. It will do. It will ding dang do. Okay. I've sorted it, Mame Hayes. Um, this was a Sam Fox strip poker he had preloaded. <laughs> I would have been caught out there. Oh, would still be a bit on the glitch. It's a. Oh, yeah. It... Do you know what? It's not as bad. Do you know what? It's not. It's not as bad in Retro Virtual Machine. It doesn't look as bad. But it is still. That's interesting. It's there, but it's not as like. How can I describe it? In CPC EC, it was more. Do you know what I mean? Whereas in RVM, it's like it's more bub 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 bub. The uh, the flickering. Oh god, the sprite was going a bit nuts there. And at the top of the screen, it's way more noticeable. Like it's wrapping around a lot more. Oops, I, I literally jumped over the pickup there. Yeah. It's funny how em certain emulators make it look better. Uh, hey Matt Myers, how you doing? This is this is called LED Storm or LED. Some people call it LED Storm. Uh, uh, I think it's I think it should be LED Storm. I don't know. How you doing? Uh, how you doing, mate? Welcome, welcome. No translucent sprites on real hardware. Uh, why did that not pick up? I literally just drove through that pickup there. Be nice to see if we can get to the second level. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's see what that looks like. Ah! I missed the energy pickup there. Ass. Those, those trucks look a little bit different on this. Lorries, sorry. Kind of like F Zero meets Micro Machines. <laughs> so yeah, I mean this is, this is one of the strangest Amstrad games because it, it's using. Uh, it, it's like it's one of the. We're out, of, oh, we're out of fuel. Oh my goodness. It's one of the strangest Amstrad games because it's one of the few Amstrad games that like we just can't seem to get running nicely in any emulator. And we get different results every time with different emulators. Um, <laughs> Weird. It's really freaking weird. Um... I can't think of another game on the Amstrad where we have such problems with it. But there you go. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll put a poll in the chat now for uh, voting on LED Storm. We've now, we've now played it for a little bit of time. I'll give you maybe one more go, maybe a couple of goes, just to see if we can get to the second level. Uh, just to see what it's like. And if it changes up. Um... Oh yeah, I'll try playing as the bike, actually. Maybe we can get through this level playing as the bike. 
Um, poll is up in the chat if you want to uh, if you want to vote on this one. Um, but yeah, because it's using special like technique to, uh, uh, to abuse the CRTC chip, which is the cathode cathode ray tube controller chip, which is like basically the graphics chip inside the Amstrad. And it's doing some special register tricks um, to like basically try and get hardware scrolling on the Amstrad. It's really hard to achieve, like basically screw the smooth pixel scrolling, uh, hardware scrolling of the screen. Very few games use it to great uh, to good effect. Very few games on the Amstrad do it. Uh, Mission Genocide is one. You see it in games like Relentless in modern homebrew games. And you can get like a 50 frames per second scroll on the Amstrad or 25 frames per second. Um, you see it on Pinball Dreams from Batman Group. You might, you're going to see it probably used in, you know, Vespertino. Um, it's really, really hard to pull off and do well. Um, Abduction of Oscar Z does it and all that. Um, but the problem with the CRTC T chip register scroll is you get artifacts at the edges of the screen, like the glitches. And what you have to try and do is then mask it. Usually you put a status bar with like score, you know, and lives over the top. To try and mask the edges, right? It's like, uh, best example, modern example, is that like CPC Soccer has, like, has the same issue, that sort of glitchiness at the sides as it scrolls. And we had this whole discussion of like like hiding the edges of on on the CPC soccer because it looks like it's glitching all the time. You know, people don't realise it's actually shifting around the screen at 50 frames per second and it's smooth as butter. But seeing those glitchiness makes you think like, oh, it's really glitchy and uh, rough scrolling. No, and it's, it's it's actually shifting around at 50 frames per second all the time. <laughs> Excuse me. And it's actually really really good at what it's doing. But there you go. There you go. Um, oh, thanks for asking, Matt. I'm doing good, mate. Apart from getting over a nasty cold at the moment. You made a thoughtful comment, DDGP. What was your comment? Did I miss it? Oh, I can't see it now. Does the CPC have more trouble scrolling vertically than horizontally? Um, I don't know on that one. I don't know. Maybe OD is probably OD soft is probably best to answer that one if he's in the chat. Try not to crash. Let's turn into the bike. Maybe it'd be better as the bike. energy pickups it's the cars from that come from behind you have to watch the energy that Got the energy, that was good. Yeah, I don't know if this is one of the best arcade conversions. I think it's okay. Sort of playable in it. Oh, jump out the arena and back in to get that. That's nice. No way I can get that. All right, okay. Just present a nice challenge. I mean, uh, I don't know if I like this or not. It's, 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 I don't know. I don't know.
I don't know. Scores out of 10 for this one as well, boys and girls. What would you give this out of... Arse! Hits as well. Um, What would you give this out of 10? I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. And I miss an energy pick up. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Oh. Come on, I've got to be near the end of the level now, haven't I? Checkpoint! I got to the checkpoint. I finally did it. Yes, we can see the second level at last. I must have been very, very near uh, end of uh, energy. Lack of status bar really hurts. In fact, they could have just chuck the status bar over the top. Oh, sorry, that would slow me down. I need to be on this bit of patch grass. Uh, uh, desert, sorry. Get off me. Energy. Oh, so this is the desert level. This looks a bit nicer. Um, I should get some dune buggies here. Reminds you of Rally X now. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Come on, let's go, let's go. It's good. There. Won't be down so much. Oh, I missed the can there. Damn it. It's all right, this. Yeah, I might go to a seven and a half, maybe. I don't know. Or oh, I might just stick it at a seven. It's a bit, I don't know, on the boring side. Oh, oh, arse. Oh. Oh, it's a I probably miss a load of hidden power-ups in, like, the rough bits here. Good, I've got two power-ups there. E, B, and P. Wow, I've got a load of stuff. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, these are the, uh, yeah, the rock slides. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Come on, car. A bit naff naffly recreated, but all right. At least they've, got, they've actually got that in from the arcade version. Damn it, I missed the fuel there. Yes, next checkpoint. Okay. We did it. That was close. Ne Again, I might have been really, really freaking low on energy. Um, 
So that bit actually reminds me of Enduro on the Master System. Disc load there. Uh, let me just pause there a second. Let me just catch up with the chat properly. Um, no Anna tonight so far. Uh, a lot of scores coming in there. Both the Amstrad and BBC use the same CRTC 6845 chip. There were different revisions for the Amstrad, of course. The BBC do use the same revisions. Uh, Zypher, like you get the same as CC4 unless you shrink the borders to 38 by 24 characters. What do you mean by that? Sorry, Restronics. Sorry. Uh, don't forget, I've just seen the arcade version of this one, Zy. Um. Uh, you've seen the, we've played it when you joined the stream, I think. But um, it's on the more uh, OS box. I'll touch on the Ace. It's the most accurate emulator currently. A Ace emulator. Not heard of that one actually, uh, Craig. Um, scrolling horizontally by two bytes, four pixels mode not is rather easy as is vertical scrolling by eight lines. Uh, says IOD earlier. Is then uh, all right? Yes. Is then trying to get it down to one pixel scroll, which is the hard bit, and then masking like the rough edges. I think, isn't it? Yeah, that's the hard bit, from my understanding, OD, Yeah. Uh, the game of the original arcade is what I'm not a fan of myself. It'll be a bit more colourful, but other than that, it's an okay conversion of a crap arcade game, in my opinion. Hmm. Hmm. Retro, a lot of scores there. Retro number seven over Studio. One out of ten. One out of ten. That's a bit harsh. Bloody hell. Break a six. Manship an eight. Jolly a five. Uh, Smoothie a five and a half. Batman a seven. Henry a seven. GP a seven. Robin of a six. Uh, Retric U a six. May a four. I agree with that about the status bar thing. Mord a six. Uh, Lucas 6.8, Hobby Lodger 5, looks playable. Perfectly playable. Um, uh, second level is more interesting. I agree, Batman. Matt Myers of 7, Magic Knight of 5, Barry a 7.5. Um, if this is 7 out of 10, what games are 8, 9 out of 10? Sure, this is nothing above a 5 out of 10. Oh, God. <laughs> Magic Knight agrees with OSG. Um, I guess it's all in context, though. Um, I mean, are we comparing this to like freaking a Skyrim or something? I, we're in, we're in the context of the eight bit system we're looking at. Um, Capcom were definitely unsure what they wanted to do with the game in the first place. The only version lets you shoot other vehicles that was taken out after Rally 2011. So there was a shooting mechanic in earlier versions of this game, and then they removed it. Right. That's interesting. Ugh. Bokel! My fellow owl. Hello, uh, mate. How, how's, it, how's it going, mate? Welcome, welcome. Well, well done, Cypher. Good progress. You know, you're making this game look even more fun now. Maybe th maybe this third level will suck, though. And it'll be exactly the same as the first level. And, um, and then we'll er everyone will like bring their scores down. Who knows? Right. To be honest, it looks exactly like the first level already. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. I've not had much sleep today. Uh, this looks like a repeat of the first level, uh, doesn't it? It's basically a repeat of the first level. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that car sprite is a bit glitchy and ghosty at the bottom there, isn't it? 
You get to wiggle the joystick to get rid of them. We're going to cling onto the back of the car there. We get that. Got it. Uh, so show to Q9, I think Ryzen maybe 8, this is nowhere near as good as to not a 7. Yeah! When we do our scores out of 10, I'm thinking like 7 is like a 70% type thing. And, th and that's like uh, just around maybe just above average. You're right. I think maybe this is like 6.5, which is like 65%. And that's like just just above average. Average. Average to above average or something. Screen tearing at the top. Oh, what what the fuck are these things? Hang on. Oh, this is new. We've got some new enemies. Uh, screen tearing at the top. Mm. It's actually stopped weirdly. Oh, is that because the road's going straight? So the no, uh, that's not the. I, I don't think it's quite the emulator. I think that. Screen tearing happens. Yeah, the screen tearing's back, isn't it? When the road moves left and right. Screen tearing happens. I think that's be that, that is just because of how the game is coded and it's, ha it's doing its like scrolling tricks. Oh, we got to another level. Only happens on corners. You're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's how the game has been coded. So it it probably, that probably happens on real hardware. I know seven out of ten is the same. You're saying the seven out of ten is the same as seven seventy percent, but when you look at it like a percentage score, it's kind of like open. It's, oh, I can describe it. Oh, I can't be asked. I'm too tired now. Um. Uh, nice purple background. Ah, uh, don't do the jumps there. Yeah, it's starting to feel a bit samey now. It needs you need like some more of a boss battle at the end of the level or something. All a bit. Oh, I could have gotten the AMS car for this, couldn't I? Never mind. Um, it's all a bit... I like to feel a bit samey now. It's fine. Well, let's turn into... Let's go as the bike for a little bit. It's fine. Uh, but... It's all a bit... Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm done on this one. I think I'm done on this one. Let's end the poll there then. What what did the poll say? Hey, Secure Bjorn! How you doing, my friend? Welcome. Surrounding what should be at the bottom at the top. I think it's all part of the scroll trick they use. Yeah, something like that. It's like it's wrapping around and like it's the, the bottom's going to the top a little bit or something. So yeah, the poll. There we go. Poll complete. Uh, most going meh. It's okay. Forty-eight percent. Um, forty-two percent went. It's decent. Uh, six percent said don't like it. Three percent said one of it's one of the best coin-up conversions. <laughs> Good lord. Same three percent that said Bionic Commando was. That's probably GP and and uh, <laughs> Retro and Limb. Bloody hell! There you go. All right. So if you want to play this, probably Retro Virtual Machine seems to 
slightly emulate it better. It makes it look smoother. Uh, to be honest, uh, probably TPC EC is the most accurate for CRTC emulation. Um, and it makes it look jag more jaggedy. It's probably what it does look like uh, on the real Amstrad. But it probably on a CRTC, uh, you know, sorry, on a proper CRT monitor, um, kind of like the fuzziness of the, how the pixels look with the glow probably makes it look a bit nicer generally anyway but there you go right okay right is man shovel still here man shovel and it might need, might need your help on this game i'm for a bit of cyber ball and egg action but um i need to go and get a drink from the fridge quickly so um bear with me just a tick guys right i will be right back in like 30 seconds just need to get a drink from the fridge. All right. Um, let's roll, says Man Shivel. Craig's off to bed. All right, Craig. No worries, mate. Thanks for your help, mate, and uh, your input and stuff. Take care, man. Um, and uh, yeah, cheers for sharing the knowledge on the uh, uh, emulators there, mate, as well. I appreciate that. Oh, right, OSG as well. I know what you mean, Zai. I'm just effing with you. Same percent set was like only buy if you only have to use from. Yeah, you knew what I meant then with the percentages and stuff. All right, take care, Craig. Have a, have a good weekend, mate, as well. Right, I'll, uh, I'll uh, catch you soon, Craig. And I'll be right back in like 30 seconds, guys, all right? All right, I'm back. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, we need technics time, but it won't be 30 seconds. How long was I? One minute? One minute 25. All right, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. And uh, thank you, everyone, who's given a like and a thumbs up on the stream. If you've been enjoying this stuff tonight, uh, please give us a like and a thumbs up. It does help me with like, the, the fight against the YouTube algorithms and all that kind of stuff. What are we on at the moment? 45 likes and thumbs up. Thank you, everyone who has. It does help get the stream more noticed and all that kind of stuff. So, all right. Okay. Uh, next game tonight. Time for some Cyberball. God. Right, I was looking. But like, is, there, is there a football game that's been convert, uh, converted? Um... From arcade to Amstrad. Uh, there was one fighting soccer. But we'd already covered it before. Because I thought maybe we could do something to time in with the World Cup that's ongoing. Uh, but we'd already covered it on a previous stream. So the nearest one we could find then. But we haven't done is Cyberball. Um, so we'll, do, we'll, have a, we'll have a look at Cyberball. Which is a bit of hand egg action with American football. Thankfully we've got a man shovel in the chat. You can help us out with this one. 
So, let's get Cyberball up. First on the arcade, and then we'll do the Amstrad version. Um, hang on. No, I've got the wrong capsule. Yes. I had this working earlier. Oh. Right. I'll have to do a new capture then for this one. It's been a bitch. Right, okay. You son of a bitch. Right, okay. Um, damn it. I have to do a new game capture. Got a weird screen now. I think a Cyberball had like a triple screen thing on the go. A bit like Ninja Warriors. Damn it. Cyberball tested this. Why is it not capturing? Hey, there we go. There we go. Finally. Right. Okay. Sorry, guys, about this. Get that. We'll plop you there. One second. There. That'll do. That'll have to ding dang do. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're off, uh, Vocal. No worries, mate. Uh, good night, Vocal. Take care. <laughs> Only a short visit then. Uh, and have a good weekend, Vocal. Good luck with your streams, mate. Take care, dude. Right. Uh, Manchester, with American football, there are two teams. The teams professional of the egg or the FNs that are trying to get the egg to the opposite go line. Opposing team, the ball is the defense that are trying to prevent the opposing team, offense team in the ball in the goal line. Team, the ball that can get the three downs without advancing 10 yards on the fourth down. They can even, I, think I, I think I know that. Sorry, uh, they can make a play and risk uh, losing possession. We're uh, at or punt the opposing team. Finally, all right, okay. Finally, a proper sport that Matt and Manchester can understand. I think I know that. It's just about the plays, I think, to do at the right time. I think we'll muddle through. We'll muddle through. We'll get there. We'll get there. I think my view count's stuck again. God damn it. I just abandoned this. Anyway. Okay. Right. We've got the capture working. Asti Red Devil. All right. Welcome to the Am stream. Welcome in. How you doing, my fr How you doing? I hope you have a nice time here tonight. Everyone welcome in. Asti Red Devil there. Welcome in, welcome in. Um, hey, Matt Corbin. Welcome in, Matt Corbin, as well. Sorry, you just joined in as I was just getting a drink from the fridge there. Um, welcome, Matt. House tricks. Um, you reckon this is going to be a good uh, uh, conversion? Retronics. Retronics. Just don't like the original. Right, okay. Okay, let's just pause my music there. Press button. To... To Should we be, we'll be New York enforcers for man shovel because like you're you're nearest to New York, aren't you? We're playing the Los Angeles assassin. Oh God. USA, USA. Hey, my pleasure, Asti. Oh, I've been knocked over. So we're playing as ro futuristic robots in the future. 
Uh, let's do a pass play. Right, so what should we try here, man, Shovel? Should we do a rope a dope, a long shot, a fire out, or the air mail? <laughs> Okay, you're in Pennsylvania. Oh, I didn't know you were in. Uh, in um, you're, I didn't know you were an American as well. RetroQ, you're from Texas, are you? We got oh, we got a few Americans here tonight. Go on then, uh, Americans. What should I do here then? You should have picked the London Monarchs. They weren't in there. I don't think they were there to select. Rope a dope says it all. We're going to go for the rope a dope. Manchilver says rope a dope. Okay. Rope a dope. Pass here or pass there. Okay. Oh no! Incomplete pass. Uh oh. Alright, we'll do a pass play. Uh, so that didn't work. That was probably my fault. So, um. Alright. Which one to go for this one? Point blank, long shot, air mail or mail drop. You don't watch much football, so I'm useless. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, maybe long shot might be better. Or mail drop? I don't, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know a thing about American football either. So, oh, man, shovel go. Man, shovel's my coach. He's coach shovel tonight. Coach shovel says go, uh, go with the mail drop. Oh! Coach Shovel, I screwed it up again. I'm sorry, Coach Shovel. This really should be called Throwball. <laughs> Interlace, hello, Interlace. How you doing? And Will 101, hello, Will. How you doing? Leave Norberg alone. <laughs> OJ, yeah, from uh, um, freaking Naked Gun. Zypher, you got to wait for the robots to cross the yellow line before passing. I know, I'm, I'm too eager. I get panicked. I'm about to get knocked out. All right, which one should we go for? Point blank, long shot, air mail, or the mail drop again? Can I be your water boy, Zypho? OSG, you could be my water boy anytime. You're always my water boy, OSG. Mail drop again. Okay. Yellow line. Do you mean the purple line? Oh, no. Oh. It, right. Okay. I see it there. I, I got the timing wrong. Right. We'll do mail drop again. Now, now we're on defense. Damn it. You sounded like Iceman there. Who's Iceman? So the purple line represents yeah, the yellow line represents where you uh, where you want to get first down. The yellow line was behind me. Pretty sure. Anyway, we're on defence. Do we want short, long, or medium defence? Coach Shovel. <laughs> I swear about Top Gun. He can be my wingman anytime. Oh, right. Okay. I haven't seen Top Gun in years. I haven't seen the new Top Gun movie yet. Okay. Yo soy un American gringo. Okay. Right, uh, I'll have to choose. I'll, I'll I'll just choose medium. Quickly, which um, be prepared for either a, a rush or a passing events. Right, do we want uh, LB drops standard? 
three four three four blitz or rotation left i haven't yet smoothie no i want to convince mrs zypho to watch it with me he's not convinced by top gun three four blitz okay Oh god, they're really close to my end zone here, right? Oh no, they got a conversion! Uh, they got a touchdown, sorry. Uh, I guess we want short or medium. Um, Alright, I'll, I'll go for short. Uh, do we want goal line, standard run, LB blitz or zone defense formation? Man, uh, coach shovel. Doing really badly. We haven't done a single pass and they've already got a touchdown. Maud says blitz and uh, Coach Shovel wants LB blitz. Okay, Coach Shovel. Conversion, no good. All right. They didn't get the conversion. Crash the kicker. Okay. Oh, we've got some distance there a little bit. We'll put another credit in there. Right, okay, which pass play do you want, Coach Shovel? Point blank, long shot, fire out, or air mail? We'll have, we'll have another credit, and then we'll move on to the Amstrad version. The version no good should be a sticker label on almost every crappy arcade version on home micros. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, you got it. You pick him. Are oh, your coach shovel? Uh, anyway, let's try. Let's try. Let's try the air mail then. Yeah. Damn it! Let's try let's try long shot. Oh you turd. Uh, try downtown. Right. Amasai! Hello Amasai! Just finished work! Dude! Oh! Oh! Actually got a, we, we actually got a pass and then we actually had a little quite a run there bloody hell wow best not to go too long straight away usually well we did quite well there right okay we'll try uh, man shovel's mail drop um <laughs> I want you to look at the drawing, figure out what you're trying to do. <laughs> okay, Coach Shovel. Okay, Coach Shovel. Um, yeah, Valkyrie has no voice. Oh, I've got to watch. Yes, I mean, you remind me. I need to watch that Val Kilmer documentary. That's apparently really, really good. It's apparently a really good documentary. Has anyone else seen that yet? Sorry, I got really excited by that then, and no one else did in the chat. Oh well. Oh, I nearly got a touchdown there. Try to run away. Oh, 
Oh. End of period. End of period? We nearly scored there. Bloody hell. Hey, Brian. How you doing, Brian? Welcome, matey. Yay! I got a touchdown, Coach Shovel! Are you proud of me, Coach Shovel? Let's try a frost! Oh, we got a conversion! Let's go! GG Zypho, you could cyberball. There you go. That's cyberball. GG's. <laughs> Alright, I think we've cracked cyberball ish. Oh, I know. OSG Kilmer, Willis, M, you know, yeah, Michael Jackson. Oh, sorry, I. Um, Michael J. Fox, sorry. Childhood Heroes. I know. I know. Um, hang on. Are the conversions we kick it like over the post? That's a conversion normally. Why is that missing in the game? That's weird. Oh, we didn't get very far there. We're on defense. Yeah. All right. I think that's enough of the arcade one. Let's look at the Amstrad version now. Okay. Let's see how um, it converts to the Amstrad. Right. Let's fire up the Amstrad version. Please convert before I go to... Of course, Henry. We're doing it now for you. Doing it now. <laughs> there you go. Right, Cy Cyberball. Yes, right. Okay. So, Cyberball on the Amstrad. Let's have a look to see how it converts. Uh, Zypha, can I ever kick it? Oh, oh that's hang on a second. Oh, music here. Not bad loading screen there. Uh, you can either kick it for one point conversion or get it in the end zone again for a two point conversion regular grid line. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. No surprise, uh, this got a conversion CPC's as main haze. I didn't think the sniper ball was running the arcades here, being a rather US centric sport. Uh, yeah! Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, it's surprising, really. Yeah, I was surprised Michael J. Fox is a Faith and More fan as well, Shul. Yeah. Good on him. How you doing, mate, Brian? I just finished your shift at work. Uh, one second, guys. I just need to blow my nose. I will mute the microphone this time, though.
Oh, is that the oh the music finished? Oh, right. Okay, it was a short tune. Sorry, uh, I didn't know how long I left you in silence there for. Um, okay. Go to control. Uh, New York enforcers, right? Okay. Prepare to receive kickoff. Oh, this looks nice and colourful. I did have this on budget. No, I, I... Again, I have no idea why I bought this on budget. Oh, I didn't get very far there. Uh, oh, uh, we'll do a pass play. All right, Coach Shovel. What should I do? Air mail, run away, run and gun, or out limits? Oof. A great film never ages. So, uh, agreed, agreed. Uh, Brian says, I've got, just got, the special effects, mate, do, but a great film never ages. Uh, Brian says, I've got off work. It's been a quite a shift again, which is good for me. Good stuff, Bri. Good stuff. Um, run and gun. Run and gun. Okay. Okay, Coach Shovel. Little bit uh, laggy. But... Interception. Oh, no. No! Out of bounds. Uh, I guess we ought to do a short defense. All right. Uh, goal line, standard run, LB blitz, or short zone? Uh, coach shovel. More used to like watching the highlights of Channel 4. Didn't really learn the rules of team playing Madden 20 to 2004, some years later. Enjoy watching the occasional match and the Super Bowl nowadays. Stop it. The red square is your target. Red robot is the opposing team. I, I know. You like, you've turned into Johnny Boy. You want Blitz. Okay. That's incomplete, right? Short. It's like a little disc load there happened. When the blue robot is in the... Incomplete again. Keep doing the blitz. Right, I need to watch what's happening here. Oh, touchdown! Diversion attempt. The ball has exploded. Good grief. Don't want any ball explosions. Oh dear. And I got caught there. Damn. All right. Let's try an airstrike. Right. Nice. Go. He's off. He's off. Top left corner. Let's freaking go! Whoa! 
Oh, we got caught though. Uh, let's try Broadway. Ah, <laughs> oh, incomplete pass. Damn. GG from Henry. This is a good version. This is a good version. He's got it. I think he's in. Touchdown. Let's go. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. This is good fun. Ball exploded. Oh, he was nearly there. Let's pause there for a second. I, I, I think this is good. What what are we thinking to this one? Uh, obviously, I'm having more fun playing it than perhaps you are watching it. But um, I, I like this. And I'm not a fan of, of the hand egg. Sorry, American football. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. Uh, a server fray. Welcome. Bonsoir. Salut. Ça The pastis for France. <laughs> welcome in. Welcome in. Um... I enjoyed this, but didn't really understand it. Um, I kind of, I kind of get it now. I don't, I don't really understand it either. But I sort of do. It's kind of like you choose your play, and wait for your pl uh, and then there's three marks for where you can throw your ball to when you're on your offensive play, and you wait for your player to sort of get near to where the mark is and, pr and press fire at the right time. I think I, 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 would you understand that? Yeah. I think this is good. I think this is quite good. Um, shall I put a poll in the chat now for this one? I think so. I think this is a decent conversion, but the thing is, Mer it's whether you like American football or not, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'll put yeah, cy cyberball. Um conversion to the Amstrad. I put the same um choices as like the other all the other games. Um I think it's a good conversion. I think it's a really good conversion, but it, whether you like whether you like American football or not, I suppose. Uh, are you English? Uh, are you an English man? I am. Uh, a silver fray. I am English. Yes. Je suis ang Je suis anglais. Is that right? <laughs> uh, Henri Medot he, uh, is French here, so he can translate anything for you. That did sound like a tractor on the fields there. End of period. Can we get little jingles of music as well. Feels to you back in the day, Muse, uh, 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 because it's uh, well presented. Oh, I should have gone for a short. Oh, I'll go for this. Went for a short one. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, scores out of 10 for this one as well, uh, everybody. What would you score this out of 10? Best go for medium. Uh, rotate L. Did I want to do that? Oh, God. Oh, do they misspelled assassins. Oh yeah, they missed an S out of Assassins. Uh oh, he's gonna get away. 
Oh no, I missed him! You little... Fart! I completely screwed that up. I was pressing the fire button to grab him and it slowed my robot down. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give this an 8 out of 10. I kind of want to get... The ball exploded. Oh, if you take too long, the ball explodes. Right. If you take... Uh, um, I kind of want to give it higher. Because I think, actually, for accuracy of conversion, this is good. Um... But, yeah, uh, trouble is it's, uh, it's American football, in it? Out of bounds. Oh, I ran it out of bounds. I'm an idiot. Arse. Try showtime. Oh, I didn't catch it. Oh, I couldn't see it. it. It was too far off the screen. Rintendo. Hello, Rintendo. Welcome, Rintendo. How you doing, my friend? Accuracy of con uh, conversion. Nine out of ten. Uh, but uh, overall... 8 out of 10 because not everyone's a fan of American football. Oh my god, I'm going to get a touchdown. Let's go. Hey Arnold, hey Lampo, hello Arnold. Welcome Arnold, how you doing? Let's try a grand slam here. And we get the conversion. No. And the ball has exploded. And it's 12 all. It's a touch goal down basket. <laughs> okay. Henri! It's all right, guys. Good night. Uh, have a good, nice weekend. Thank you, Zypho. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Henry. Thank you so much for your support and being a cool dude, as always. Henri. Uh, bon nuit. Uh, take care. Uh, and have a great weekend. Take care, my friends. Good night, Henry. Henri. And thank you as always. Oh, hang on. Uh, Pajlia... Pajliachi Tragic Clown. Did you wish Brian Hooper a happy 35th birthday, Zypho? Oh! Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me just give you some dashes. Thank you, um... Uh, Pajliachi Tragic Clown for one pound, which was Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel. Bananas in the chat, or, uh... Exclamation mark pumpkins, because it's Man Shovel. Uh, hang on. Is it, um, Brian, is it your birthday today? Brian. Oops. Brian's birthday. Is it Brian's birthday, sorry. Brian, is it your birthday? Thirty times two. <laughs> Thank you, man, shovel. Um... Uh, which Brian? Brian Hooper. Your Brian, Brian, is it your birthday? Your Brian Hooper, is it your birthday? Brian's 45th yesterday. Aliochi. 
Pagliacci clan. Well, hang on, wait for Brian to reply. <laughs> oh, hang on. My view count's stuck again. I was 45 on Thursday. Brian, I had no idea. Oh, right. Oh, hang on. Were you on, Mar weren't you on Marble Stream? I can't remember. I'm now 45. It was Brian's birthday. Oh, well, we'll have, we'll have to do a little birthday sing-song for Brian, won't we? Hang on. I need to find Man Shovel's bloody music. Hang on. <laughs> Where was it? All right, okay, boys and girls. You know, you know the drill. We're going to sing "Happy Birthday" to Brian. He's a bloody member of the community here. But exclamation mark birthday in the chat, and let the confetti fall down and the fireworks go off. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brian. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Brian Hooper. Happy birthday, mate. Don't look a day over 44. Congratulations, mate. And have a great birthday weekend. Happy birthday, Brian. Happy birthday, mate. <laughs> Sorry for the terrible singing. Um... Yeah, happy birthday for Thursday. Well, not Friday, but have a great birthday weekend, my friends. Thank you. <laughs> and sorry for the terrible singing. It's GP's birthday too. Is it really? Play Red Heat then. I never know if it's GP's birthday or not. He says it's his birthday every other week and I have to play Pit Fighter or Red Heat or something. <laughs> right. Where the frick was I? Um, uh, a server freight says Amsterdam CPC got success in England. Yes, yeah, it was very successful in England. Oh, the computer mucked that up. But a little bit of notice of graphical glitches occasionally. Oh god, there's like six periods. And that was only the end of the second period. Um All right, maybe do one more period then, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll spin on from this. Cause I right, ha hang on, how many more games have we got uh, left? Uh, one more. So we'll play maybe about five more minutes of this, and then we'll move on. I'm I, I, I'm actually genuinely enjoying this. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that, Brian. Interception. Pass play. Might get a touchdown here. We'll do a point blank. Can. Don't have to throw. Don't want to be after having to throw it too long. Oh, that. Oh, he pushed off my guy there. Airstrike. More chance of success throwing it over to the right there. Got it! Go! Touchdown! Let's go! Alright! 
uh, for the Grand Slam. Oh, yeah. Conversion's good! Nice! And we're now 19-12 ahead. All right. Any more scores out of 10 for Cyberball? Probably. Probably call it there. Actually. Yeah. I think this is really good fun. It's whether you like American football, hand egg, or whatever. Or not. Uh, I'm gonna be a convert, am I? I don't know. Uncle Ron, hello, Uncle Ron. How you doing, mate? How's tricks, dude? I need to put it past there. Keep it short. Not a bad rugby game. <laughs> Why does no Brazilian national athlete sound like something out of a circus? I've no idea. Where have you just heard it? What, is, uh, what game is this called, please? This is Cyberball. American football, but set in the future with robots and exploding balls. And it's not a bad, but it, it, it's a good, good game, a good conversion. Whether you enjoy American football or not, I never thought I would, but this is actually quite good. Have you played Smash TV yet? Uh, no, it's not on the list tonight. We do five games. It's on the uh, description of the video. We've done. Uh, we're doing ramp. What the games we've done tonight? Rampage. Oh, the balls exploded. Does that mean we're now on a fence? Yes. Rampage. Uh, LED storm. Bionic commando. What was the other one? Oh, this one, isn't it? Sorry. Go, 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 go. Got it. We get another touchdown. Yay! And this one. And we've got Victory Road, the sequel to Ikari Warriors, coming up next. Oh, LED. Yeah, we did LED. Did I say LED Storm? I think so. Why did the ball explode? Ah, oh, well. We're thrashing the assassins, though. Are you happy, Coach Shovel? Are you happy? Right, let's end the poll. Got 30 votes there. And I'm going to keep the out of that then. So, the poll ended with Cyberball. 50% of you said it's decent. 20% uh, one of the best coin-up conversions. 16% with meh, it's okay. 30% of you said don't like it. There you go. 50% of you there. So it's decent. Cool. Nice. Nice. Lord Rain's doing some translations there. That was the end of the period. I think we're thrashing them there. Coach Shovel, are you happy with me then? Alright, that's enough of that for now. Oops. Right, okay. Uh, what was the scores out of 10 for that one from people? Let me just read them out. Um, Outside gave it a 7. Magic Knight a 7 out of 10 as well earlier. Nintendo gave it a 7 earlier. More than a 6.5. You see 7.5 out of 10 if, if you had a League of Tournament mode. Did it not? I don't think it did, did it? Retro Limbs called it Lawnmowers playing with a ball earlier. 
Robin Hood gave it a 6. Musa, a 7 out of 10. Batman, a 7. Uh, OSG is 8 out of 10. Cool. Be generous. Cool for tonight. Henri, a 7 earlier. Retro Lim, a 5. Matt Myers, an 8. And Retro and Lim said a pizza arrived earlier. Nice. Enjoying your pizza at the moment, Retro and Lim. What toppings did you get? Uh, uh, Uncle Ron asks, does anyone here have the CPC 464 USB key booker version kit that Time and Time Mail Software used to sell? No, I don't. See, I think people have voted on whether they like American football or not. As far as arcade conversions go, this is definitely one of the best like for like. It is. Was it good on the uh, C64? You ever tried that one, mate? Oh, I need to plug in a different controller for the next game. This is where I hope it behaves, my controller. Now, this next game, one of those games uh, that had like one of those rotational rotary joysticks. Where you like twist the joystick round to rotate your character. Because, with, ladies and gentlemen, the next game is the sequel to Ikari Warriors. Victory Road. Right. Plug in a joystick in. For a joypad. So I'm going to use a joypad here and use the triggers as like a left and right rotation to replicate the joystick that you would twist around like in your wrist like that um, for the movement. It's not going to work very well, but it's the best I can do. Okay, right. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. What joypad is this? Uh, this is a Razer Raju Ultimate. It works like a PS4 pad. And I wish I got an X. I think I would have been better of an Xbox One because it's far more compatible with lots more stuff. Even though I prefer the look and feel of a PS4 type one. I found I found this one not as compatible with lots of stuff. Oh well. Um, but it's an awesome it's an awesome pad. See the pretty colours on it. Ooh. You don't like a bit do pads? Um, no, uh, I did, but um, they're not as good quality. Um, uh, they, um, I've had one, uh, I've had a couple of them, and they've broken, basically. Uh, they're not as well built. Like the 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 like the the rubber inside where the button push down on. Um, they 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 corrode and break away over time, and I've had two to, uh, break. But I do have an the uh, the the arcade stick I have is eight bit do. This is eight bit do, and I would recommend this to everyone and anyone. I think this is a fantastic arcade stick. It's not sandware parts the stick and the buttons, but you can replace them with uh, sandware parts. Otherwise, they're not quite as good as sandware. Uh, otherwise, they're actually really, really good quality. Right. Uh, okay. So, Victory Road. The sequel to Ikari Warriors. Ding. Yeah, I need to turn off the capture. Previous game. Ooh. Come on. Warriors, show some guts. You can't escape me. Come on. Come get me if you can. Capture. <laughs> Why is it not capturing? Why are you not capturing this? Oh, there we go. It's decided to do it eventually. Right, there we go. I'll reset it there. Cool. What emulator is it, please? Main. 
arcade emulators, but it's the only arcade emulator. Warriors, show some guts. You can't escape me. Oh, oh, come on. You can. Oh, sorry, if you're not familiar with this, this uh, am stream we do. This at particular series of streams, we look at the arcade version first, and then we look at the Amstrad one yeah. straight after to see how the arcade has been converted to the Amstrad one for comparison. Yeah. So we look at the arcade version, and then we look at the Amstrad one straight after. The Amstrad, generally I use the WinApe emulator. Uh, it just works better for me streaming. Uh, to be honest, CPC EC emulator is probably the most technically accurate emulator out there at the moment. Um, Show some guts. And you got Retro you Virtual Machine is also very good at emulating as well. If you can. Um, <laughs> hey, good night, Brian. Take care, mate. Have a great birthday weekend and see you soon, dude. Take care, mate. All right, so this is the sequel to Ikari Warriors. It's now kind of set in space, I think. Now with demons and monsters and stuff instead of like soldiers and tanks. It's weird, right? Anyway, let's go. Show some guts. You can't escape me. Show some guts. Get me if you can. <laughs> Why are we setting some kind of space thing? I I, I don't know. And we got these green yeah. monsters and yeah. and uh, like spidery things. Yeah. 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 I want to rotate my character. I try not to do it too much because it's a bit of a bore ache to yeah. get the rotation back properly. Yeah. 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 Cool. That lightning bolt like leaves the whole screen of enemies there. Okay. Yeah. Wow, it makes a change from Ikari Warriors. Yeah. I mean, he plays identically yeah. almost to Ikari Warriors. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think you can destroy those towers there if you really want to. Yeah. I don't know, it feels weird playing this and you're not like... Get the power. Oh, what's this? But you can get a suit of armor instead of like a uh, tank, yeah. now in like an armored suit type thing. Yeah. And you now have these portals to jump in. And now you go for a boss battle thing. Victory Road, the Doom of the Ages. Oh yeah, still have grenades to chuck. There you go, I've just chucked one there. And then, yeah, go back through the portal. Looking at this, it's like a total reskin of Ikari Warriors. It pretty much is uh, OSG. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it, it's so blatantly it is. Got to be using like the same hardware what, and, and, and same code base and engine. It must be. Oh, geez. 
Jesus. Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. to get through there and hey gp good night mate take care thank you for the donation <laughs> yeah take care man have a great weekend i'll see you soon yeah. oh, you. i saw that blind thing there what come on let's fight why did i die there Where's my grenades left? Oh, I've got no more grenades left. Great. Oh, oh, oh no, I have. Got him finally. Um, it's just, it's just, I don't know this kind of like, um, spacey, devilly kind of haunted creatures theme. It, it's just not as fun uh, as Ikari Warriors. I, d I don't know what it is. Do we get a continue? Um, hey, OSG, good night as well, mate. Take care, dude. You're up early in the morning, are you? Have a great weekend, mate. All the best to OSG there. Take care, mate. <laughs> you missed my Commodore. Do we get a continue on this? Let's try again. All right, I'll have a look. Oh, it takes you right to the beginning. Oh, you're joking. Oh, that sucks. I don't like that. Can't continue from where you left off. That that's that's pretty evil. Hmm. Well. I wanted to see more of the game, not go back to the start there and have to go through all that again. Well, that's the arcade version. I think we'll Go to the Amstrad version, play, uh, play, uh, spend more time with the Ar Amstrad version. Um, because I, I remember Ikari Warriors on the Amstrad was really good. It wouldn't be, wouldn't it be funny if, like, just like the arcade, if um, the Amstrad version was basically the Ikari Warriors port just reskinned again, the conversion. It'd be good if it was. I think it is. Anyway, good night, OBSG. Take care, man. Have a great weekend. We'll leave the arcade version there for now because I don't feel like having to replay through all that again. Um, and we'll get right it up on the amp. Right. Right. Let me just put my controller away just for now. Okay. <laughs> Excuse 
Excuse me. Might have to restart and win ape again. Right, Maud says this doesn't seem to flow as well. Ikari is a, a neat, well made game. Yes, we're like well laid out like areas of buildings it sort of builds up quite nicely it starts as a well open well open level at the start of the game and it gets slightly more claustrophobic and tighter as the further you move into the game this is just this that just felt like a mess didn't it yeah the pacing is worse yes exactly retro on limb uh very stupid says rare retro q uh imagine playing an rpg and die later in the game only to stop the game over again that would be ludicrous they just fed a credit into the game you just fed another 10 20 uh, p um or what would you call it in america your quarter or whatever um it's or a few quarters you just fed them back into the machine to continue like where you where you were and surprise the game resets and takes you back to the beginning you'd be mad like you just put some more coins in and that happened anyway anyway right victory road on the amstrad let's see what it's like but retro crew it, it's that's not a good loading screen that is not a good loading screen. That's not a good start so far. But Retiku is... Oh, music. Hot jams. Reti I was going to say, Retiku is worse. Uh, if I'm just reading back your comment there. Worse because they are in the arcade, you're spending real money. Which you wasted. Thinking you can carry on where you left off and having to re restart the entire... I assume it's a level. Uh, if anyone says, I've never seen or play Victory Road, but to most I can't remember it's a such a good game. You have to make another game that reaches the same height. It's lightning not striking twice and all. Let's let the music play out just a second. So, I'll just take the opportunity to just, uh, get another drink quick. Bear with me just a tip. Yeah, the pathway to fear. Nice tune, I think it sounds like a Jonathan Dunn tune, this does. Mm. Oh, I recognise this screen already. I think this might be by the same guy who did the original game, which is a good sign so far. Cheater rotational joystick. This has an option for the cheetah rotational joystick. They cheetah made one? This is what I'm talking about. Um So in the arcade like how it works, and I just picked a joystick off my shelf. You could literally, if you, when you were holding the joystick, you could you could literally rotate. Oh, you can't really do it, but you could literally like uh, 
rotate the joystick around right and it would like rotate your character around in a circle at the same time okay um obviously you can't do that on a real joystick right but i never knew a cheetah made i think i've seen this before actually cheetah rotational joystick i'm gonna google that now cheetah rotational joystick let's have a look <coughs> excuse me coming up on Google Images for it. Uh, um, for, for you, what's the best RK conversion? On the Amstrad, it's kind of it's, it's the reason it's why we're what's this then is it this it's the reason why we're doing um these streams um we're trying to find that out for ourselves we're going through all the amstrad games of arcade conversions on the amstrad um this one hang on a second i don't think this is rotational one uh, that's why we're doing these streams, trying to find it. Maybe it's Donkey Kong. It's such a good conversion. Such a good conversion. I reckon Operation Wolf is up there. Personally. Uh. I'm not finding it on Google. Cheetah Rotational Joystick. Ah. Uh. No one's talking about it. But I don't know. I don't know. Cheetah rotational joystick. No. Hmm. Someone's someone's gotta look into that. Someone's gotta have a look into that and find out. Something for Retro Man Cave to look at uh, Neil from RMC to look into or Chinny Vision or something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Right, let's let's just choose it and get into it. Uh, player two select. All right, keep. Right, okay. Let's start a one player. And it's I can't. It's by the same guy who did Ikari Warriors. Yay. It's the same sound effects as well. Oh, I know what I need to do. How do I quit out? Let me just load this up again. I need to change my control options. Let me just go put this up thousand percent. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Uh, Jurassic One. Hopefully that should work. Are oh, you joking? Come on. That should be mapped to the right key. Where to X? Ah, oh. all right. I'll just play on keyboard. I'll play on keyboard. 
All right, okay. Not on eBay. Thanks for looking retro on them. Not, not, there's not even an article on Google about it. But I can find it on Google. Maud's not heard about it. Um, I'm the skill man. Thank you. Well, it plays nice and smooth. Look at that nice scrolling. You got a toggle key. So you could toggle between strafing like this. You toggle it off and then you can move around in all directions. Oh, for God's sakes. Right, because these enemies sort of sweep in on you, it's, it's much more different. Keep this weapon. Oh, right, okay, they can shoot you. God oh, damn it, now we haven't got a weapon. There's the portal. There's the portal. Okay. Alright, let's just pause it there. What's the chat saying? Right, okay. Um Zypho, you're the skiller. It looks nice. I'm glad it isn't another crappy specky port. So no. We've got uh, we've got Amstrad gets its own version, but obviously it's another it's a reskin of the Ikari Warriors conversion to the Amstrad. And the arcade victory road is just a reskin of Ikari Warriors, the original Ikari Warriors. Uh, Matt Meyer says, and Zypho is the chill man. <laughs> We're just chilling, are we? Um, this is what Cannon Fodder 2 is, uh, the first one. No Specky Fort here, no, Claude Reigns. Would you toggle in the first Ikari Warriors? Yes, Jolly. Yes, she could, yeah. And none of your beers. Hello, none of your beers. It's the Ikari Warriors engine. Yes. Yeah. It, it's just a reskin. Yeah. Oh my god. This this moves around a lot more than the um uh um the one in the arcade. The other one was much slower. How many grenades do we have? There isn't like an a there isn't an ammo counter. Do we have unlimited grenades?
Here we have unlimited grenades. Whoa! A lot of the sound effects are the same. Ah! The little git just came on and shot me. Shooting green gummy bears. Ass. Um, a similar thing I downloaded for the PS3 and it's a coin muncher. Uh, which game are you talking about, Claude Rains? Isn't Guerrilla War in the trilogy of these games? I think so. I think... No, there was an Ikari Warriors 3 in the arcades. But it was a weird pseudo top-down affair. I remember you start off in the water, like the water's up to your body and you walk around with like a knife going like this. Um, oh, it scrolls to the game here. You can see most of the level. Right, we'll, we'll give this another go and see how far we get. I'm just going to turn on the heating. It's getting a bit cold in the office. Uh, just one second, guys. I will be right back. Matt Meyer says this is uh, sorry about that. Uh, Matt Meyer says this is slightly better than the arcade version, but that's not saying much. Hmm. Oh, how far are we up in the level here of uh, of its scrolling demo? Does it does it get any interesting, or is it looped around whilst I was just I've just turned the heating on? It's getting freaking cold in here. Jesus. Um, this has an ending, does it? Yeah, this has an ending sequence. Ooh. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, I just missed it there. I was, I was looking in my browser. Victory Road. Oh, apparently it's just a text screen ending. But okay. All right, let's try this again. Unlimited grenade. Oh, Maud! Sneaky Maud! Thank you for the two pounds, Maud. Eating funds. Maud, thank you. Bananas in the chat for the sneaky Maud. There, the sneaky two pounds. The heating funds, thank you. Oh my goodness, my um, sorry, I just realised my view count's been stuck for a long time. Let me update the that. Maud, thank you very, very, very much for the two pounds there, Maud. Thank you very, very much. If not for the heating funds, I could go out and buy a cheap budgie from the uh, dodgy market stall tomorrow. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Maud. Thank you very, very much, mate. Ah, right. If they get close to you, they will, they will jump on you.
Thank you again, Maud. Enjoy the bananas. Did I miss a weapon pickle? I think I missed a weapon pickle. That's annoying. I mean, the graphics are really nice. Uh, I, I don't like the style of it anyway. But this is still really good. Sound effects are okay. Oh, nice. That's the weapon we want. Uh, it scrolls really smoothly. Controls are nice and responsive. Um, no! God damn it. That's what we wanted to keep that weapon. Oh, there's some more weapons coming up, though. Um, yeah, it's nice and, nice and freaking smooth. Oh! Why is this weapon so good? Maybe just like one shot at certain enemies, but oh, that's that's the weapon we want. this do? I hate those like, they look like Count Draculas or whatever the hell they are. Right, got them. Right. Thank you again, Sneaky More. Grim is more suited sequel. I can't really freeze nothing like these games. Yes. Yes, there we go. That shield lasted a long time. It did! That shield lasted a very long time. So I think I've got red explosive grenades that are more dangerous. I, th I thought I glitched then and I wasn't going through the portal thingy. I was like, oh god. Um, nope, we're good. And we've got the explosive weapon here. If we can just keep it. It looks like you've got no ammo limits, which is really interesting. Oh, God. It's interesting to have a game like this and... Um, And you can just keep your weapon permanently. Until you die at least, anyway. 
And there's no restrictions on the ammo or anything like that. That's quite refreshing in a shoot em up. Or run and gun or whatever it, whatever genre you want to put this in. Especially when the Ikari Warriors had like an ammo counter and limit. Oh, there's a portal here. Wow! But it's just the same enemy again, basically. Nice, okay, we're making good. Yeah, Nightbot's got a bit crazy at the moment. Sorry, sir, there. Everyone's got a bit tired at the moment. We're coming towards the end of the night anyway. Some hidden passages through, through these. Okay. What I'm going to do, actually, while before it gets too late, let's set up the poll in the chat then. Um, okay, we're going to vote. Start a poll. So, uh, Victory, Victory Road. Version to the Amstrad. Um, it's a tough one, this one, because we, we've got Ikari Warriors already. And you're going to vote, is, is it one of the best kind of conversions? Do you think it's decent? Or do you think, meh, it's okay, one of the options, or you don't like it, is, it, is the other fourth option. And we'll put a poll in the chat, and you can get voting now. Um, and you can also score it out of 10. I don't think it's up there, quite as up there as Ikari Warriors, but this is still decent. I think this is really quite a good little conversion, quite a good little game, this. Uh, Rhetoric says some of these sound effects sound like they came from an Atari game. Kind of gives me nostalgia for it. Even though I wasn't born in the era of the 2600s. Um, uh, I've only played the Intervision, but it was only because I had to make a brief review of uh, Microsoft in one of my review videos. Cool. Cool. Uh, Retroling gives it 7. Uh, that one gives it an 8 out of 10. Robin gives it an 8.5. Yeah, if, if Ikari Warriors is like a 9 out of 10 game, the burst should maybe slightly higher. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I would give this. Ooh. I don't know. It's at least an 8 out of 10 for me. Maybe going up to 8.5. It just lacks like the excitement of Ikari Warriors. No, son of a bitch. Whoa. Oh, GP. Oh, you could have some fireworks with that. Dancing sugars as well. Can't sleep, Sifo. I had a nightmare. I was an Ikari warrior in Fear Worst game. Oh, GP, Pat McNulls, bananas in the chat for Pat McNulls, aka GP. 
He can't sleep. He's oh, he's woken up again. Is that? Hang on. Was that really GP? Hang on. I'm not sure that was actually GP. No, that was Matt Myers. <laughs> I think that was Matt Myers. Matt, thank you for the five pounds. Holy crap, Matt. That was really kind of you. Thank you, Matt. I think that was Matt Myers. I think GP was still asleep. <laughs> Matt, was that you? <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for the five pounds. That's really kind of you. Thank you, mate. Thank you. But let's see those bananas in the chat. I think Matt, a GP is still actually asleep. <laughs> oh, God. Another portal. Can I just get away with standing here and spamming grenades? No. Oh, thirty thousand points you get uh, a new uh, bonus life. And spun the grenades there. Matt Myers, thank you. GP never sleeps, always lurking. Oh, there's, there's a weapon in there. Pillars reveal a power up. Thank you again, Matt. Yes. Very, very generous of you, yes. And that's where I die. Three of those buggers. No way I could take them out of my little popcorn. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. He's not as well balanced as Ikari Warriors, is it? I think I'll stick with my 8 out of 10 for that one. Decent conversion, but yeah, it's no Ikari, no Ikari Warriors. Ooh, excuse me. So let's have a look at the poll then. Ooh. 17 votes. Um, not as many votes as the other one. Although we're getting quite late at night now. Um, let's see. Um, one of the best conversions. Oh, it's neck and neck with one of the best conversions and it's decent. 47%. Any more votes and any more scores out of 10? Um, see, yeah. I think I'll end the poll there. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, forty-seven percent tie in there. The, the two, two top two votes there. Well, sorry, top two choices are uh, one of the best coin ops for coin conversions, forty-seven percent, and it's decent, forty-seven percent. 
with 5% thought, meh, it's okay. And no one voting for don't like it. There you go for Victory Road. I've got a little bit of progress on that one, but like not a huge amount. I don't know. May not be the biggest, longest game in the world, that one. But um, yeah, that's not a bad little shoe mop. Not a bad little shoe mop. It's just... Um... Oh, excuse me. Sorry, it's getting a bit late now. I probably will have to finish um, now. Got a very long day ahead of me tomorrow and a long night. Got to work for my club night tomorrow night. DJing it's like 3, 4 in the morning. Uh, I need an early-ish night and a long sleep. Didn't get much sleep today. Um, but there you go. Um, yeah. Victory Roads, yeah. Uh, I think an overlooked game, that one. Uh, and a decent game. Uh, it's often forgotten about that it's like a, 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 a sequel to Ikari Warriors, and it's used, used. And we love Ikari Warriors, and we love the conversion of Ikari Warriors, the Amstrad. This one is basically a reskin of Ikari Warriors, but it doesn't have its same flair and finesse, uh, and it's it's skill with the the, the uh, level layout and design. Um, Guerrilla War. That may be on another stream. Yeah. But I think I'll have to call it there tonight. Uh, I'm getting tired and I need to be up early and I need a good sleep. So, um, yeah, I think we'll call it there tonight, guys. All right, and girls. So thank you everyone uh, for tuning in tonight. I hope you had a good fun one tonight. It's nice. It was, it was a nice chilled one. Uh, I think we needed tonight this one. It's nice to bring back the arcade to Amstrad streams um, series. That was part seventeen, and it was nice to have like um, feature a different system alongside the Amstrad uh, for a bit of variety tonight. So. Um, Retric, you thank you for the subscription. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I'm glad you've enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next week's Amstream, um, next Friday at 9pm, hopefully, fingers crossed, we might be featuring a very special new Amstrad game next week, um, which will be cool. Um, it won't be long then until the Christmas Amstream special. <laughs> Good grief. That, uh, Christmas is coming round, coming round quick. Um... Uh, cheers everyone i hope you enjoyed that tonight um i'll be back uh i think i'll be back streaming on tuesday on twitch i might not be streaming on monday uh because i'm off work on sunday night and i might need to sleep on sun on monday evening to get back my body clock and sink means i won't be uh, available to stream on monday evening but we'll see you never know you never know uh i, I might have a little bit of a kip in early evening and wake up in time to uh, do a little uh, stream mid-evening or something we'll see we'll see um thank you again rescue um so uh otherwise i will see definitely see you tuesday anyway if not i'll be around on discord exclamation what discord if you want the discord link um there you go just a bit coming coming in the chat there we're going to join in our Discord. And if you fancy a bit of an after party now, if you're still awake and want to chat to people, have a, feel free to use my Discord and my voice chat channel to have a bit of an after party. Um, if not, just cheat, chat in the general chat, in the text chat. Um, so, cheers, uh, Retro and Limp. Thank you, mate. Um, you have a great weekend, too. Everyone else have a great weekend. Thank you, Matt Myers. Thank you for the donor there as well at the end. Cheers, Manship, as well, for your donors as well. And, uh, and being funny, uh, good lad. Cheers, Shove. And uh, thank you, Coach Shove, as well, in Cyberball. Um, uh, Lucas, thanks for being here all night as well, mate. Take care, dude. Uh, Maud, Sneaky Maud, thank you for Sneaky Dino as well. Batman77 as well. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Secure Bjorn. Take care, mate, as well. The look of your streams. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're slowly gathering more Americans here as well, which is good. It's good to see. Uh, Jolly. <laughs> no worries, mate. No worries. Sometimes uh, th these ones we take a little bit longer on the games. I know you guys have got used to be playing like lots and lots and lots of games uh, in, in a stream. 
it's quite typical in a lot of Twitch, other Twitch streamers, they stick with one game all night, whereas you got used to be playing like like 30 games. You greedy lot. <laughs> I will see you back here as well, Retrogate. Also, I, you can uh, find me on Twitch under the same name. I do lots of Twitch streams, full st usually sometimes up to four, uh, four evenings a week on Twitch as well. If you want to find me there. There are a couple of other retro systems and have community nights on slightly some, some sometimes on more modern stuff as well. Real Lodi, take care, Real Lodi. Thank you for being here as well. And uh, take care, Arnold, as well. Uh, I'm glad YouTube finally recommended me to someone new as well, RetroQ. That's awesome. Ah, uh, brilliant. Right, take care, everyone. All right, I've got to shoot off now. Good night. See you soon. And have a great weekend, everyone. And I'll see you about. Take care. Good night. Bye.